What's good guys, Bo here, welcome to Setting the Bar episode 7. And before we even get into this, we've got the outfit back. So for those wondering, I don't know when I'm actually uploading this, I mean, you may have already worked it out, but I gave uh, Cammy's blue back. I give it, back? it was today, oh, okay, okay, uh, let me just start this off. Um, this is going to be my first video, setting the bar video, where I probably record it in different parts because I've just decided, I mean, I've got nothing to do for the rest of the day. I keep getting DDoS off stream, so I can't wake up my Taco Cal from scratch. I do not I do have kills to do, but I prefer to do those in the morning when doing rune spawn. I've decided the best way for me to do rune spawn is because it's like my last AF cable skill, like properly mining is an AF cable, because I'll probably power train it. Uh, the only way I can do kills with an AF cable skill, apart from going to do mage, is uh, by doing... Runespan, so I'm going to save Runespan for when I have kilns really and just trade my other skills whenever I feel like it really. But I, I know I have 99 mining as like my next 99 skill, but I think I'm going to quickly just use the Mad Necklace then the Penance Horn to get an 89 agility and then I'm probably just going to go straw off to train Hunter. But yeah, you go back to what I was saying, um, I don't know when I've uploaded this. Well, I've recorded this on the, I'm starting now on the 6th of June, but this is going to be in different parts. But yeah, I gave Cam his party hat back on the 6th of June really, so... Whenever this gets uploaded, I don't really have it anymore, but overall, for those who thought I stole it, you are peasants. Now, um, for those we had comments, like me and Cam were just trolling around a bit on my comments, like, risking my reputation here, but we're just trolling around, like, someone would say, did you steal a pie hat? I'd be like, no, I've still got it on Skype. And he'd be like, he'd leave a comment saying, like, you've still, you've blocked me on Skype. And I wasn't going to be there, like, going all super defensive on him, like, no, I don't, don't try and, like, rip, like... With that kind of people, we don't really mind. We, I, I personally can understand that most of my subscribers know that I'm not going to take, in putting them in the proper situation, I'm not going to take a party hat off a friend and then put it into the full situation. I'm not going to take a blue party hat off a friend when he gave me three party hat sets earlier on, well, lent me, trust traded me three puff party hat sets in the same day. Moral of the story, keeping it short, I don't scam my friends. And I don't scam random people. I think I said this in the last set in the bar video, but I'm a type of guy where if you walked up to me and just traded me a party hat, I'd give you it back. I really just, I don't know, I mean, feel free to line up. And once I've got like 900 party hats, I'm going to log off straight away. But yeah, anyways, uh, for this video, we're doing agility. I've already kind of said that, but yeah, I'm just using my uh, mad necklace, really. I'm going to get that to 0%, and then I don't, that's not going to get me the level. I don't know how much percentage I've used on it, but it definitely will not get me the level because I used it to get 88, and I'm using it to 89 so i will have to use a bit of my penance horn to get to 89 and then i think i'm just going to train i think i might train hunter get some more salmon seeds stack up on more potions so when i actually do solid to go for nano mining i can just blitz through it really because i can just go to the bank and be like yo give me that potion but i don't know if i'm going to penance on it i really don't know if it's worth it like barb assault is no problem i'm really good at barb assault and i make really good teams so it is quick it's just the fact that i have to go there and when I want to charge my horn I have to stay there for about three to four hours to get a fully charged horn I can't just go there for like 20 minutes do a bit and leave because then I have to go back and then I have to work up on getting through a whole team now I don't know if I will use the penance horn I probably will for mining because that cuts down the salmonim seeds in half really so I don't need as many um what is it I don't need as many uh juju mining potions so Overall, when I get into the situation, I'm probably going to choose, but there'll probably be times when I train mining without the summon, without the um, Pentaton, and sometimes with, really, but yeah, as for now, I am training agility. So, we are three minutes in, which isn't actually that bad for one of these for getting sidetracked, and stats updates, so considering this is, so, is, I'm recording this intro fairly early, there'll probably be a multiple amount of stats updates in this video, depending on how long I talk for, I mean, if I talk for like an hour, I'll just call this one video and uh, save that, but I mean, I would turn this on expecting to record multiple parts to it really so I'll keep you updated on like dates and all that and what I've got in between but yeah that's the stats update for now the only thing that should have changed really is the um RuneCraft XP but for those who are keeping up to date with my uh, Tokar Cal from scratch on live stream I've actually gained about 600,000 magic experience just by using Slayer Darts on uh, Ganodermics to get my polypore stuff and that's about it for my thing. I'm maybe a million dungeon XP. Nah, I'm a lot much dungeon XP. I am dungeon on for the Kader crossbow as well, so dungeon XP will change. But yeah, as for that, stats haven't changed much. I'm still contemplating if I should go get all 90s because it would look pretty damn sweet. And yeah, that's it. Right. As for XPs, uh, 78.8 magic XP, million magic experience. 28 point that won't change much that's got no target on yet because i don't know if i'm gonna get 200 more strength i really don't know and that hasn't changed much either so that's about it for my thing but yeah going back i have my old look i think this is my favorite look in the game to be honest i really don't know if i'm gonna find something that i prefer more than this but it just looks 
so sweet, really. I don't think it's your unique look. Most people wear Agile, because Agile does kind of fit everything, really. I mean, when I gave uh, Cam his blue back, I was going to, like, borrow every pie half him and test skill kits, but I was testing the farming cape, and unfortunately, there was no good-looking, like, green boots or anything that matched it. When you get an outfit that you want to wear a lot, you want to match it. Now, I do need to get Black Mystic gloves. They look a lot better than Barrow's. When I had the blue pie hat, I wore the same stuff, but with a magic cape, blue Mystic boots and gloves, it looked a lot better than having Barrow's gloves on there. Or Color Romancer's gloves 10, if you're a complete haystack let's just don't even want to, i was going to use the word peasant there but i was thinking no this is beyond peasant that word is not allowed to the word haystack was used dun, dun, dun. continuing this video so i don't really have much to talk about so i'm actually going to start this video off with a bit of a q a some things to know about me and about that and then i'll go into some things but of course i'll start off with runescape update and today actually because it is the 6th of june the fish flingers update came on along with this um new fish hat now because I'm pre-recording this, I don't know what I will have done in the last part, so I don't know, but I will definitely work on a fish hat PK commentary, and I believe that I probably will have uploaded that before this, depending on the price of the hats at the time. Apparently, they are becoming a new discontinued item, so obviously, everyone's just, well, I don't know if you've worked it out yet, but it's pretty obvious. Jagex have done this, and they've put them on the common one for a week, so people buy spins to try and stack up on them, so they can try and get rich, rich in the future. Now... If it does become a discontinued item, I'll tell you right now, yes, it will rise in price. But because this, like, we've worked out how everything changes, like, RuneScape players have got a lot smarter. I mean, I'm not trying to say they were stupid back in, like, 2001 or whenever they dropped all that, but back in 2001, if you looted a pie hat, you had no idea that was going to be worth a billions of GP. Like, back in 2001, a billion GP was probably unheard of. Like, maybe... 10 million. I don't know. I played in about 2002. I'm not sure. I definitely didn't join. I missed all my drops. I missed the side drops by about three weeks. That puts me into perspective of when I joined the game. Really. I mean, I don't know my exact date. I think it's around 2002. I'm not sure. Before RuneScape 2 existed anyway. But yeah, this item anyway is becoming a new discontinued item. Like I said, Jagex want people to buy spins to try and get as many as they can so they can try and get rich further and in the game. But my really, it's not really my theory. It's pretty obvious overall, but Considering the players are so much smarter and they know how these, like, like the pie has changed in price, like, my red is continuously full. It's like, I've lost about 800 million on this now. That's like 400 Happy Meals I've lost on this red pie hat now. I'm not happy about that. Not at all. But overall, I think I will be selling it soon, actually. So, I mean, I won't go into it fully, but I have my own reasons for why I want to sell it. Yes, it'll be going for to 200 mil magic, but that is not the full reason why I've suddenly decided to sell it. But still, I haven't sold it. The Wild Stalk Helm looks pretty damn sick on this one. I have the tier 4. Maybe to the red one anyway, you know what I mean. But it looks pretty sick as well. I think it looks better than the pie hat, but it doesn't obviously show. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't really wear my pie hat to try and show wealth. I just bought the red pie hat because it matches the Slayer cape, really. And I love the Slayer cape. I finally, I decided to bank my Dunge cape. Um, Slayer cape, nothing. It's the best skill cape. It's, you, there's no better skill cape looking than that. Unless you go into the untrimmed ones, possibly. But in my opinion, black and red are sweet colours that go together. And with a skull involved, it's white in the middle of the cape. Nothing beats it, really. And still, to see a level 110 combat with a Slayer Cape is probably still fairly impressive these days. Not many people in my level have Slayer Capes. I mean, obviously lower levels have it and stuff like that. But yeah, um, I'm going to do a couple of things this video. I think this video may actually be pretty long. It's maybe a one because things are coming to mind. But I'm going to go... First of all, I'll do the bit of a QA, and a But then there is something that... A video that... Um, a desecrator uploaded a. You should, I don't know if you should know who he is. He has a fair amount of subscribers. Even if you don't watch his videos, you should have heard of him at least once. But he made a video, not sure how long ago, probably about a week ago, that was uh, about top 10 RuneScape legends, really. The top 10 RuneScape legends, in his opinion. Now, I wanted to do it myself, but I decided, um, considering he was going to take it further and like, start his own like opinion based top 10 series, which is actually a series I was going to do a very long time ago, but I decided I didn't want to do it. This is before I had partnership, even, but um, I didn't want to do it because obviously, top 10s, you know what it means. It's just like, oh, you only want to do this, like, it, just go into top 10s, like, not to be offensive to anyone. I mean, I only know two people that do, and obviously, it's Chris Archie and RSL Village, really. They do top 10s, and they're like, well, can we do this to try and boost people's no, not that community challenges or stuff, just anything where they upload other people's clips saying we're trying to help you out to gain subscribers. Overall, once people get fully into those, nobody gains off it, like, properly. It's talking maybe, you may think, all right, Chris Archie's, um, before I get into this, I don't want anyone to think I'm hating on Chris Archie here. I'm just trying to put the point across, really, of what I mean, but, and I'm sure some of you will agree with me, but Chris Archie has a community channel of 150,000 subscribers. Now, if shoutouts weren't popular in YouTube, and no one really did them, say you were subscribed to someone with 150,000 active subscribers, maybe not that many, some, I don't know how many, but, and they uploaded a video saying, hey, go ch ch check my friend's channel out, it's, uh, 
well, he's a friend of mine, he makes great videos just like me, you might like him and stuff like that, but if that was it and shoutouts weren't often, well, I mean, common, and my, that person would, if, with 150,000 subscribers involved, he would easily gain at least 5,000 in my opinion. Now, obviously there's no situations like this, I can't remember YouTube far back enough to remember anything like this that's gone on, but... Take him back to Chris Archie's channel, because he uploads so many videos a day on that channel, and because so many people submit clips, and people only go on them to see what the clip is, the people that submit the clips maybe gain a maximum of 500. Now, when I say a maximum of 500, overall that clip would have to be amazing to gain you 500. Overall, people will probably gain about 50 average, so clips like that aren't really the biggest boost. If you're trying to put those clips around to try and, like, gain subscribers really it's definitely not the best way for it overall it's your it's your choice I'm not, I'm not trying to say it's a bad idea I'll definitely but i submit clips myself but i normally only submit clips when i think it's like worthy of being on there like i sometimes just see clips where some guy pks some dragon claws and then someone screams it's like yep uploaded that straight away i was like what i don't want to watch that but if i see something awesome like uh, I'll use a friend's clip, uh, Cam himself winning a blue party hat, which I stole from him in a stake. He had like a 600 life point comeback. You don't really see that every day, do you? And plus it's for a blue pie hat as well. Clips like that are what should be uploaded to this. Now, I'm not trying to say I could run a community channel really well. I don't really want to run a community channel. I'm not really a huge fan. Like I know you really all sick of me saying I'm not a huge fan of all this stuff, but I'm not really a huge fan of getting credit for other people's clips and like in that genre of area. I don't know, but... All I'm just trying to say is, you don't really gain subscribers from it, and I completely just lost track of what I was talking about. Yes, that was it. Uh, Desecrator, I just clicked then silently. I don't know if anyone heard you. But please, for the love of God, say you didn't hear that because that was pathetic. No, why would I fall? This, I hate this. It is literally 10 seconds before I can start again. 10. Now, you may not think that's a lot, but say I'm going to fail, fail like 500 times during the jilly. That's 5,000 seconds lost. And you may think I'm going into the XP waste thing, but if you add up those 5,000 seconds, that's almost, is that almost 10 hours? 10 hours of time lost just from freaking falling like that thing. It's annoying. I hate the one at the gnome course more though. When you're trying to cross that stupid thing and you crawl across it. Made me want to punch my screen, that thing. That was so annoying. But yeah, getting back to what I was talking about. Desecrator uploaded the video, Top 10 Legends, blah, blah, blah. I thought I was going to do my own, but I decided because he was going to expand on it really on an opinion-based series. Oh, I was talking about how I was going to do it. Yeah, my opinion-based series was going to be something along the lines of like a top 10, but no one sends clip. I simply just say, right, today we're going to do top 10 hybrids and here is my list and I'd probably give you a list of my it'd probably be like a five minute video of talking about my top 10 hybrids really and giving you my opinion of them in order of what I think opinion based not taking any of those clips for it so obviously it's not any no judging at all it's simply my opinion really so I was going to do that a long time ago but I decided I really couldn't be bothered because I knew I'd get probably a load of hate for it assuming I did do it I'd probably still be doing it today Ugh, interruptions but uh, I'd probably still be doing it today but if I was doing it for over a year now, actually, maybe not that long, I'd probably about, if I was doing it for over half a year, really, I'd be running out of, like, ideas, really, so that series probably would have been dead by now. But, yeah, going back to uh, the whole situation I was talking about, uh, Desecrator made a video on uh, Top 10 Legends, in his opinion, really, and I was talking to him on Skype at the time. I do talk to Desecrator quite a lot on Skype. He's actually one of my, probably one of my favourite people to talk to on Skype. We don't, not really, like, we don't voice chat much. It's normally typing, but we always have these banter-filled conversations. It's one of those banter-filled conversations that you have when you know you're talking to a friend. It's like... I'm talking to him, I was like, he says something to me like, yo, you're ginger, I'm like, right, you deleted, blocked, right in you now, see you later, mate. It's just things like that, just banter filled, I mean, nothing offensive or anything like that, do not wield that crappy neck, what the hell? Oh, now that was pretty cool, actually. wait a minute. Oh, what? I want to do that again. Oh, no, oh, can I? Can I just keep doing the animation? I mean, I could just stand in the GE. If I did that in the GE and I had people crowding me, I'd send that straight into Chris Archie, I'd gain 10,000 subscribers off that one, no problem at all. But yeah, just passed the leap there for anyone that was bothered about it, but yeah. Um, blah, 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 back to this, uh, yeah, that's great, a great friend of mine, but I was talking to him and he, I said to him, uh, I, don't, I can't remember if I asked him or if he said to me, should I, like, or would I do a sequel to his, really, of doing my opinion based now? I wasn't. I don't really want to turn it into a full series, but I can give you my top 10 legends in this video. Now, I'll have to probably pause the video for a bit to give you a list, but overall, I'm just going to tell you some, some RuneScape legends who I know about who aren't that known in the RuneScape community overall. Now, I know some of you are going to name, why didn't you name this guy? Simply because either I don't think they're that much of a legend, or... 
I don't know them really. Like, I'm gonna go through the ones that aren't really that known. Like, people know Zezima straight up. If you don't know who Zezima is, then you're a haystack, really. I'm gonna use that. Every time I pass this haystack and I have something to insult someone with, you're a haystack, pretty much. And that is so offensive. Don't even get me started on it. I mean, if you were a haystack, mate, the amount of needles people would be looking for in you. Don't get me started. But yeah, um, some RuneScape legends of mine who I think, I mean, you're probably not going to have heard of them at all, really. But yeah, in my opinion, these are just RuneScape legends who don't deserve enough credit. So first of all, this is a personal one. I don't believe any of you will have known this guy. But if you do know him, then you'll know exactly why he's here. But his name is Atlantic Nine, really. And I've known, well, I knew him. Right, so now this is going to be a fairly hard to transition. Now, this is probably just quickly jumped on, but um, I was making that last set in the bar at around 11 o'clock last night, and my parents came in and raged at me, to say the least, really. So I'm back, and it's day two, really. Nothing's really changed. I got some RuneCraft and XP, and I did do a bit of agility XP, but then I logged off, really. But yeah, is it just me, or do the summer pies like look different now? I can't I can't really tell, but I mean, I'm sure they look a bit different from yesterday. I'm just, They look normal there, but that one just looks... Smaller kind of I don't really know how to explain it really, but yeah getting back into the topic Luckily my memory is actually amazing and I can remember what I was talking about But I believe I was about to talk about someone called Atlantic 9 who is kind of a personal legend to me really I mean he I'll move on to ones that people may know about but this one Was just someone on my friends list really and I knew that I met this guy in RuneScape classic Eight nine years ago. I really don't know don't even know oh, so he's got pit on me now I've lost like 50k XP already because this guy's eyes, but yeah, um, I met him on Rescape Classic. I believe the way I met him was asking someone to create me strength amulets. Now, I traded him three rubies and gold bars and all that. And back then, those three rubies were my bank because I was probably about eight years old or something. I really don't even know. And he pretty much, just, I mean, he was like level, I think, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I think he was level 89 crafting at the time. And he was definitely on the front page high scores for Herbal. I can remember that much about when I met him. But uh, I asked in a bank, I believe it was Falador... West Bank, followed West Bank, I asked and I asked if somebody could create me some strength amulets and he said yes he could so I just gave him all the stuff and he went and crafted me some strength amulets and I was like, well, thank you sir and then pretty much I added him and pretty much going on like six years from there he always used to clean my herbs and just make me stuff really, he pretty much had like, ma he doesn't have max total, I remember him like, I, over I remember when I actually to overtook him in strength, I know he quit with 98 strength, and when I got 99 strength on my account, like in 07 I think I got 99 strength, my first 99, I was just like, yes, I overtook Atlantic 9, I was so happy about it, but overall, one of my money making methods uh, back in the day was to buy unid herbs, and then I would identify the ones I could, which is like pretty much up to Harry Landon knowing me, and then I'd get him to identify all the ones above Raynars really, and I'd sell off like the dwarfs and the rainars and stuff for like three k each, and I was making huge money off that. And pretty much, I probably trained him about five hundred thousand, if not more, herbal experts. Maybe not. That. Yeah, about five hundred thousand or so herbal experts, simply off him cleaning my herbs whenever I needed them done. So honestly, he's a player mod as well. Uh, just overall, I know you don't really care about this guy, but honestly, he just deserves this. If I'm putting anything involved in the word legend, this guy was definitely one of the, if not the nicest guy I ever met on this game, really. I don't think I'll ever meet nicer, to be honest, but honestly, he was such a cool guy. I don't think any of you actually know him. If you did, then you'll know exactly why he's here, and I do say that quite a lot, but yeah. So I did want to put that out there first. So I'm going to talk about what I believe was me talking about some... RuneScape legends, more to me, who may not be known, but definitely deserve credit, really. So, let's start off, right? Let's do one. And the first one I'm going to talk about is probably um, Valandra. Now, if you don't know who Valandra is, will you... Po yes, she has, like, five accounts. Now, you'll probably remember some of them, but she has the accounts Valandra. I believe she had one called Villa Ninja, one called Slayer Bell, one called Larika and one called Alebrioles, and one called Stinkerbell. I believe that was all her accounts. Now, you may just think, oh, um, that many accounts? Obviously, why do you even deserve to be here? Now, yes, that's what you get for even daring to get over my thing. But overall, let's just talk about, okay, so Valandra was like one of the first to like 2376 total, pretty much held, holding a spot in the high scores for quite a while, really. But that wasn't the main thing about her. She had one, like, ranked. 10 accounts and all that. She was always up there in the, the front page of high scores, really, when Zezima was just owning it up, really. But her other accounts, really, some of them aren't that impressive, but I'll go through them one at a time. So, as far as I'm aware, her second account was, 
I think it was Villa Ninja, but it may have been Slayer Belt after that. Now, Villa Ninja was getting 85 Slayer at 76. I can't remember what I'm doing the pit. It was getting 85 Slayer at 76 Combat back in like 05 or something. So that would have been insanely impressive. And now level 3s can get 85 Slayer, no problems by camping solo. So it's not the biggest achievement now, but to have a level 76, to, simply to have a Slayer level higher than your Combat was honestly one of the most amazing things you could possibly get, really. But yeah, that was the second deal. That wasn't the more impressive one. But Slayer Bell, some of you may actually know who Slayer Bell was. Same person, obviously. But Slayer Bell was the first person to an untrimmed Slayer cape, really. So that was a an achievement, really. I mean, can I please go down yet? Yeah, but overall, to be first one to the untrimmed Slayer cape, that was probably a cape that people believe was untrimmable because, obviously, Slayer trains, like, a quarter at the speed of other skills because... You get the Slayer XP of the monster, obviously, and then the XP you train on that monster is obviously fairly high. But, of course, the monster can regenerate some health points as well, which means that you are training more combat XP. But, yeah, um, I believe that she... I don't actually know her in real life name, so I'm just going to have to keep referring to her as Rolandra, but... She then got the first Slayer kit, really, untrimmed, and I believe she is actually a member of uh, the Slayer Guild, so anyone who's a member of TSG would probably know who she was, but I wasn't a member of TSG, but oh well, really, but yeah, so you may not think that's the more impressive, but then her next account comes along, which was Larika, which is actually the first account to an untrimmed summoning cave, probably another one that people believe to be a... Uh, Impossible to now. There's actually probably more untrimmed summoning capes than slayer capes in the game. I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm kind of guessing, but untrimmed summoning cape isn't actually that hard to get. All you do is count water fiends, and if you do train all your skills to like 98, you get enough charms to get 99 summoning really. So summoning cape probably not as hard to get as an untrimmed slayer cape, but still a pretty sweet achievement. And once again, she was the first to an untrimmed summoning cape. I've probably seen about four untrimmed summoning capes, and I've probably only seen about three or four untrimmed slayer capes. So they're about even for me at the moment. Not 100% sure, but yep. And if that's not enough, even more achievements. So we'll move on to Alebrials, my personal favourite account that she made, really. But Alebrials was the first, the first account to get 99 Slayer with 10 hit points. Unfortunately for Valandra, Soul Wars came out halfway through the goal, really. But she had around like 95 Slayer or something pre Soul Wars. 10 HP, 9 Slayer by canoning tasks, really, and just sitting there and praying melee. Now, I don't know if you can look up her accounts. I believe she's unsubscribed half of them because she doesn't use them anymore. Because obviously she has the achievements really. I believe Valandra probably still looks up. But I believe that like stuff like Larika and the Labrials are all going to have been um, unsubscribed really. Now I don't know if I'm boring you all here because I know most of you don't really care, but hopefully you are just here for my voice and the time is hopefully still passing really. But yeah, I mean I did say I was gonna talk about this, so I'll just keep going really. But so yeah, there was a Labrials, which was 10 HP, 99 Slayer, 99 Mage, 99 Construction. First person to 10 HP 99 Slayer, and I believe it was something like 65 combat with 99 Slayer Cape, which was pretty damn sweet. And I have to say, that is a pretty ridiculous achievement out there. And then, of course, her final account, which is her current goal in progress, but I don't know how seriously she's taking it, because I... Um, I used to follow her RuneScape community thread up page, really, but unfortunately, I don't think she updates anymore, but I lost a lot of them. I mean, I, mean, I used to spend a lot of time following the uh, Libran ones, but... I think he had the most viewed thread of all time, but then he like quit or something when free trade came back. I think he got clean staking. I'm not sure about that, but yeah, I used to follow Valandras all the time, really. And things about Alebrials, Alebrials was my back on my main. I set a goal. Aleb she was halfway through training that account. I was like, right, you are not beating me to 99 slay. And I just stuck down and did slay. Unfortunately, I didn't get I did get beat really, so definitely have to say that because she's got 99 Slayer like five times, it's definitely one of the goals that actually manages me to get 99 Slayer. I mean, I have to force myself to win, really, but unfortunately, I lost, but now I do have a 99 Slayer cape on, which is amazing, and I'm wearing it right now, so that's about that done, really. So, and then her final goal, which I was about to say then, is a Stinker Bell, where she's going for 99 Slayer with only attack, strength, hit points, and Slayer, everything else won. Now, I will say now, that account looks amazing. I like, imagine if you click that, 99, 99, 99, 99, everything else was won. That would look pretty damn sick, and you have to admit. So, um, she's like, I don't know what Slayer level she is on there. I'm not on Swift Kit, so I can't really check, but I believe it's at least 85 now. I'm not sure about that, but I believe it's around there. So, still, um, I doubt she's watching this video, but honestly, best of luck on that goal, because some of the sickest achievements ever in this game, really. I don't think many people are going to beat some of these achievements. Like, is anyone else going to try and cannon 99 Slayer? I mean, there's no point anymore. Now Soul Wars came. I mean, if Soul Wars didn't come out, she would have held the lowest combat level for a Slayer Cape pretty much forever. I don't think anyone could beat that. Is it possible, do you think, to beat that? Maybe if you had 99 Strength and HP instead, maybe a couple of levels lower, but 
Although she did have 60 press, so if somebody did it with 43, they'd be like 3 combats lower or something like that. But overall, amazing achievement, really. So I'll quickly wrap up who she was. But Valandra, like top page most of the time, always a top page before the game became super competitive. Um, what's the name of it? Villain Ninja, 85 Slayer, 76 combat. Obviously, not that amazing, but considering that was about six years ago, it was an alright achievement then. And there was Slayer Bell, first untrimmed Slayer Cape, Larika, first untrimmed Summoning Cape, and finally Alebriol's. Not necessarily a 10 HP first person to do it, and probably one of the only people to ever do it without Soul Wars, I'd have to say. And then obviously Slayer Belt, which is current working project process. 99, you understand what I mean. So yeah, that is a personal, another kind of personal Runescape legend who I believe some of you should know seriously, just because of her pretty insane achievements. I mean, I think they're pretty damn impressive myself, but I'm not sure what you think. I hope I'm not boring you all by just talking like you're all like, no one cares. Just talk about something else. Really. But yeah, okay, so I'm going to go to another RuneScape legend who is also one that I know off the RuneScape community forums, but this one is called, you probably won't know him much, but I'd definitely say he deserves to be here. So this one is called Metal Maniac 9, really. And this is a guy, let's just talk about From Scratch series for a bit. Now, From Scratch series are stuff where you earn all your own supplies. Now, this guy DIY'd all his skills. He doesn't buy his skills. And if you... The, if I tell you what I mean right now, I believe he earned his dragon pickaxe to train mining. I'm not sure about that, but I think he went to the things to kill him, really. But this guy, his current goal, I think, is 99 herb law, collecting his own supplies without using extreme potions. I don't really keep track up on Zybez anymore, because my friend on there, like, died. He had, like, 40k views. I was pretty happy about that, but this is ages ago. But yeah, I believe his goal is something awesome like that. But yeah, this guy is pretty much a DIY player. What self-sufficient is a good word to use in this situation, but what you doing is running around like a peasant really. Just skipped out this. You get low XP at the end if you skip this up. Oh well it might be a 10 in. Ah, I'll see you later, mate. Nice bot right there. I mean I know he's not buying as decided to say anyway, but yeah, um, Metal Maniac 9. 100% DIY. I mean, imagine how long it takes, right, to get something like 99 Rune Crafting pre Rune Spawn, really. Now, that's ZMI for a month easily. Now, he did it. I think he did it anyway. Yeah, he definitely did it. He did it by mining his own Pure Essence, making his own Abyssal Titans. I. What else did he do? I'm sure, I'm sure he did something else in there as well, which I can't remember. I think it was ZMI. I don't know. All I know is he did other ones like he did 99 Slayer without skipping tasks and then without using a cannon and all that. Pretty much every he doesn't spend money and it's just I don't know how you could why would you oh god I hate you when people like wait for ages and you're there like running towards it thinking right I swear to god if you go no don't you dare do that and then he just gets on the rope before you and you have to wait like 20 seconds it's just like seriously that's what you get that is what you get for attempting that. Well, yeah, that was a uh, Metal Maniac 9, who I would also say is, um, on some level, a RuneScape legend that probably deserves more recognition, really. I mean, if you ever see any of these people in game, I don't know, I mean, it probably won't be that amazing, but still, to see them will be pretty nice. So, unfortunately, I've used those three and now completely ran out of RuneScape legends that people don't know about. I mean, I've probably got loads of people who are going to leave comments after this, like, saying, why didn't you talk about Joriel321, Zezima... Um, people like Fat Rex, Max Boysen, all those really. I'm just like, they're known. I'm trying to say one, say some that weren't known really. And considering I can only name like two, then that wasn't the bestest job really. But yeah, I mean, I'll, some Runescape Legends, I don't need to name most of them. You really do know who most of them are really. I don't need to name them all. And overall, there's not really a point in me putting them in my own order because people will disagree with my order. And then other people will be like, uh, well, people like, Desecrator put his in order, but yeah, I mean, one other one that might not be that known, I know most people know him, but he's Zarfot, definitely one of the not very known, he's known, definitely known, but he is probably one of the biggest RuneScape legends out there. If you don't know who Zarfot was, uh, he pretty much created efficiency in RuneScape, really. He's the, the person that came up with all this, like, when RuneTech 5 came out, like, forever ago, which is when they had, like, initiated game ticks, I'm pretty sure it was, anyway, I don't remember all this 0 0.6 second things between stuff before that like rune take everyone started talking about that rune take fire thing but yeah um Zarfot was the guy who pretty much created it and had he not had his runescape official forum guides like his slayer one his menafite one and his runecraft was it runecrafting yeah it was runecrafting definitely then i would definitely not have 99 slayer right now i've used his guide for everything really and some of the things he comes up with like his black demon task i'm tempted to make a quick video on it just to teach people this black demon technique because it is so good everyone hates black demon tasks well not everyone most people do but black demons were by far my well i don't know they were one of my favorite tasks but i'd have to say if i got dagon if i would probably be more happy with those to be honest because they were like a 30 minute task for beast xp although mutated blood i couldn't get there i'd buy 
far the best task. And I was training in Slayer on my main. Uh, every time I saw Blood Bells, I was just like, yes, because they're like 1k Slayer XP a minute. And it's just like beastly. And you may, Dagoniths are definitely faster, but when you finish your Dagoniths task, you only get about 15k XP. Finish a mutated Blood Bell task, you'd be like, well, not 25k in the same time. It was just, well, not the same time, but it was just such a sick task, really. But yeah, Zarfot definitely deserves to be out there. I mean, I'm sure most of you do know who Zarfot is, but yeah, I mean, if he didn't play this, my training techniques would be a lot different pretty much once I found out about him. I used to watch his video, I read his guides, pretty much my training speed increased. I mean, you may think that people who like train let's just use the term no XP waste to like I don't know nerdy or something in my opinion to train like that is just more efficient I get things done quicker really I mean like say I was training slower and I wasn't doing the um, the whole game tick thing in the end if I was to go against someone who didn't do that then obviously I would probably get my 99 skills slightly faster than them overall because like as you can see these guys here are slower to run to here which means if I kept on doing these I might overlap them once and maybe that's like 2000 experience ahead of them in the game Overall, I mean, it doesn't sound like much, but if you actually do add up time, like, I think I said it in a video, it might have been this video, but if you lose, like, like 0.5, no, maybe not that much, maybe 5 seconds, like, because of that rope swing thing, if that happens a thousand times on the way to 99 agility, that's almost 10 hours of time lost, it really actually does add up, and I don't want to tell you where to train fast, but overall, if Zarfot hadn't existed, my training techniques would be slow, as far as I'm aware, I'll make an adventure log video sometime soon, but... I have around 130,000 experience trained per hour on my account since creation of my account, really. And that is pretty damn good. Involved in that time are all the videos I've made, all the uh, the From Scratch series that I work on and stuff like that, all the slow skills. It also involves all the fast skills, though. Oh, damn, I forgot to read the pie, which kind of sucks. Yeah, but in my opinion, having 130,000 experience per hour is definitely... Impressive. I mean, I, I think I made an adventure log on livestream really, and I calculated my XP per hour on there. I mean, I have half a billion XP. I believe I'm on like 160 days playtime or something like that. And uh, if you don't believe that, I will definitely get an adventure log video up some time soon, really showing you that. And it's I wait, am I on 100? I'm on three million XP. I've trained like three million XP in three days. Not okay, maybe not that much, but what skill oh, I've been doing runecrafting and stuff. That, oh yeah, I train like billions of magic experience at the stupid gun of doom because you know trying to get that stupid stuff, which I've got. It's like a spoiler there. But yeah, Zarf up definitely deserves it. Those four really overall, in my opinion, are just some RuneScape legends that aren't really known about that much. I mean, there's definitely more. If there's any RuneScape legends to you, like I might as well do a bit of interaction here. If you want to leave a comment saying someone you know about is a RuneScape legend who's not that well known, I mean, don't bother leaving people who were known. Like, if you're going to put on something like, I don't know, like, kids range, don't even, just don't. Everybody knows who he is, in my opinion. Well, yeah, that's in my opinion again. But yeah, okay, so I need to move on on this topic, and uh, I don't actually know what to talk about now. I was going to talk about that. I'm sure I had another topic to talk about, but I cannot remember what it was. I always forget what I was talking about on these videos, and it's just like, <gasps> and I just, I just don't know what to do now, but I said it at the start. Oh, yeah, it was a bit of a Q&A, wasn't it? Yes, I'm going to go into that now. So I'm going to tell you some things, really, that you may want to know about me. It's not the most important things, really, but these are just some things. Oh, God, that time wasted now. It's just annoying. But, yeah, I mean, these are just some things you might want to know about me, like as background information, as more of a person of uh, who I am, really. So I'm going to start off with something which uh, I think may, may, most people won't really mind, but would probably like to know, really, and that is... Why do I commentate how I do, like, all this hypiness and a bit of shouting, a bit of screaming and stuff, like, screaming over 250k leaving that I don't really, but overall, the reason I do this is because, like I said, I think I said it in this video, but I'm not sure, but I am probably one of the, f not really few people left who enjoy playing this game, but I definitely log on this game and I do have fun. I'm trading agility now, it's not that fun, but I'm making a video, so... Before I actually get into this, what I want to say is, please, leave me topics on what you want me to talk about. I could probably be producing, when I have the time, really, and I'm training skills, that is three of these videos a day. But number one boss style, but five times longer in the videos here. So he's going to have a lot of competition if I ever decide to do that. But overall, like, he has competition already, because if I, I could produce one of these a day easily if I wanted to. But he produces three videos a day, which is about... Elite long normally knowing him, so I'm still beating him by 10 minutes here, so he has to step his game up there. But overall, if I'm training skills like agility, I'm bored to tears during this. I pretty much, I'm just going to watch TV programs when I do it probably, and uh, probably type in my friend's chat a bit. I'll probably live stream a bit for anyone who's to listen to music and stuff, but that's probably how I'm going to do this. But yeah, anytime I have something to talk about, I can just whip the recorder on and talk about it really. And then if it only ends at like 12 minutes, save it. 
pull a record up another time, do another 13 minutes or something, do that until I've got like an hour long video, bam, upload it, that's how it can go. But overall, when I said like three one hour videos a day, say I did three hours of agility and made three different videos and commented those hours of agility, my voice would probably be quite dead. But these videos don't take me that long to render. I don't render them 720p, because if I render them 720p, they do take a long time. I think it took me, I tried to render one of these 720p and I think it was talking around 11 hours to render it. Uh, no, it was something like 13 hours to render. I was just like, yep, I'm not doing that. And then obviously it would have took about an hour to upload, which is an hour of const constant lag, really, which would have been horrible. Then it would have took about a month to process, which would have just been horrendous. But overall, I render these... What do I render? 360p, no, 480p, I think I render these at. Um, mainly because the reason for these videos is simply you minimize them and you listen, or you put it in the corner, you don't watch and you listen, really. I don't need to have 720p quality on a video of me talking doing a skill like this, I believe. Now, you could argue about that, but overall, I don't think I'll ever upload these 720p simply because it just takes pretty much a whole day extra to get it up. I can get these out so much more often, putting in 480 and then just sticking them up and then you can all just listen to them, really. 720p makes no difference in commentary, really. It might be the slightest difference, but overall, I know it's very minimal difference when I listen to songs 720p calling. You may say you can, but when I ever try it, I don't notice the hugest difference. I can listen to songs on 360p. Just like my YouTube videos, I watch them all on 360p as well, sim simply because I just... What do I? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I watch them 360p, because it's RuneScape. In my opinion, for a game like RuneScape, you don't need to have this like 1080p HD. Full, well, you can play like that, but videos... I don't really think you need to have 1080p on a RuneScape video, unless it's like a PK video of amazingly sick quality, then yeah, 1080p would be good. Did it run out? Please don't have run out. Please don't have run out. I think it did, because I didn't get double XP then. But it didn't say... I hate this game, it's horrible. Right, okay, so I'm going to quickly run to the bank and get my penance horn out just to get this level 89, really, so. But yeah, going back to what I said, I can watch RuneScape in 360p. Obviously, some people would prefer 720p. I upload 99% of my videos. Well, this is the only video I upload 720p. I believe I upload bank videos 1080p. I upload skilling blocks, setting the bars 480p, and I upload PK videos and everything else 720p, really, which is just, in my opinion, one of the best ways to do it. But yep, here's some proof that you're... <clears throat> Mad Necklace doesn't degrade. I'm sure most of you have already done that already, but if anyone was actually wondering, then, yep, it doesn't degrade, and I'm going to wear that and wear the horn. Actually, no, because then everyone will be asking me, does it stack? And I'll be able to type in loads of stuff, and I'll be angry, but yet have a rapid bank video. If I have a bank pen, I'm going to scream at someone's eyes. Good, right, where's my penance horn? Da, 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 da. Got it. Okay, so, teleport. Right, with these peasants, right? You're a noob, and you are a bot. Hopefully, they don't watch my videos, because I would have lost two subscribers. Okay, so running back to my agility course, the, the amount of XP. There's a whale on top of my screen right now. It's fins getting in my face as well, I know, but what's I talking about? It was something along the lines of, yeah, okay, so like I said, I've, I've asked for like two interactions on here, really, and one of them was uh, a RuneScape Legend to you, but also if you want to throw out there some topics for me to talk about, it would be great, really. If I find any good topics for me to talk about, then yeah, I'll be pretty happy. And I think I got completely sidetracked with what I was talking about in the first place, and that was why I commentate like I do. Now, the reason... I commentate like I do is because, pretty much, why do you watch commentaries? Do you watch it simply because you like the person, you enjoy watching the gameplay? In my opinion, I watch commentaries really to be entertained, to pass time, to enjoy the video overall. Now, if I, like I said a few times, if I commentated videos like slowly, like if I was waiting every time I, I pretty much didn't talk once, like in a video, say I was fighting right now and I was hitting zeros, I'd be like, oh, zero, and I'd be waiting and like three zeros later, I'd be like, oh, come on, why can't I hit? And I'd be standing there, finally I'd hit, and I'd be like, finally! And the whole video would just be like 10 seconds of me saying like four words. In my opinion, it'd be boring as hell. Now, I do get a fair few comments saying that like I talk too fast. I apologize for that. I, I have to, but like, I will talk slowly for now. I have to purposely talk slowly because I talk fast simply just because I do. I don't know why, but it just happens really. I can talk fast really, and it just seems to work for me. But yeah. How I commentate as I do, commentate, what? But yeah, I do kind of commentate in a way, like, slightly, you could call it immature, really. I do, like, if I was to commentate maturely, I probably wouldn't even talk, really. I mean, you can't play this game and commentate maturely, like, <clears throat> okay, so we have our next fight. I'm just going to uh, quickly drink my uh, Super Strength Potion 3-dose, and that's now a 2-dose potion, so make sure you remember that. And I'm just going to uh, embrace combat with this person and then see who wins this battle. I just... Okay, maybe like that would be pretty enjoyable, but overall, I think you can understand what I mean. Now, you have to be f energetic on a game, really. I'm People say, I don't know why my video, people watch my commentaries, like, 
There's probably multiple different reasons they watch my commentaries, really, but I believe the main reason has to be because I'm probably entertaining. Some people are probably boring, like, have a monotone voice. Is that the word when your voice just doesn't change at all during the commentary and it's just really boring like this and I'm just, like, talking? You just, you just close the video in, like, 13 seconds or something because you're bored out your head already. Now, if your voice, like, I'm not trying to... If I was to give you tips on being a commentator, the way I do it is, I mean, one of the one of my... Look how I can just walk through these people just because I'm an absolute beast or something like that. Oh, this guy's this guy's catching up. I'm not happy with him. But um, what was I saying really? Uh, if I was giving you tips on how to be like a commentator, something I really do enjoy in videos when people do it, it always makes me laugh. Is when people exaggerate things loads. Like, say I was doing this and I was I was hitting, sorry, and then someone throws me, and then I was about to DDS him, and then like he throws me like one step away from. Me. I'm like, oh, I was no, that's not. Like that. Something when I'm like far away, you exaggerate time like. I pull out a DDS and it doesn't wield instantly. I'm like, okay, come on, that's like 20 years for it to wield. Things like that always make me laugh. It never fails. I don't know why, but people, when people exaggerate things loads, it just makes me laugh. I do it all the time. If I'm like, I think in a video, someone left a comment saying, but I'm the same as you. I refer to distances as most of the time. Like in my hybrid video, something like that. I said something like, oh God, it's like a week away from me. Something like that. It just, it just makes me laugh. Things like that. It just does like, I talked to a friend on Skype all the time and he was hybriding once and he had like, he pulled out his arm and a godson and it didn't wheel. And he was like, oh, all right, I'll just wait 20 minutes for it to wheel. I just burst out laughing. Just things like that make me laugh so often. So I don't really want to give you tips on being a commentator. Pretty much the number one tip really is be yourself really. If people say, am I being myself when I commentate, the answer is no. If I wanted to, I could PK in silence. It's just my choice, really, to be entertained. If I was being myself, I would probably be a very boring person, really. But I don't fake my hyperness. I'm definitely a hyper person, but I do commentate in a slightly different way to make the video entertaining. If I was commentating normally, it'd be something like, right, okay. So I'd just be talking fast, really, with a kind of monotone voice. I change my voice around and just, what I do is, this is how I actually commentate. I pretend... I am in the situation of my player really well. I'm fighting, so I'm just like they're like, come on, these games slice. It was just like it just it's just amazing, really. It's just well, not amazing, but it's just how you make a video entertaining. That's just the the number one thing you need to do is make your video entertaining. Like I don't want. I sometimes watch my videos over. I will definitely not lie. That I sometimes watch my videos over. Now I'm not trying to say that my videos are so amazing that I have to watch them, but I sometimes normally when I'm rendering a video, when I'm uploading it, I will watch the video over while it uploads because most uploads are like 20 minutes for me, and then it's a 20 minute video. So by the time the video ends, it's uploaded, really. But I watch the video, and then it doesn't happen often, but sometimes if I feel like it's a horrible video, I'll cancel the upload and just delete the video. Now, that's only happened about five times, and one of those was a range commentary with a kid at crossbow and rigger. It was just so horrible. I was just like, this is the most boring video ever. Now, I do upload videos that I consider bad sometimes, and this was mainly throughout my 10 new challenge, because obviously when I do that, I have rules to the series, and I can't change clips around or anything like that. When I have my own like level commentaries where I can do what I want, really, I can delete what clips I want. I do set high standards on my clips. Now, I have started like cutting to deaths in videos lately, but overall, I'm actually uploading the video right now. Is it uploaded? Yes, it has, and it's got bad lighting. Oh, that's a lie, actually. It doesn't have bad lighting. It's just a... Something, I think it's the intro that when I put the intro in, it always says that. But yeah, that's uploaded, so maybe we'll read some comments halfway through this video. But that video I've just uploaded then, so just to get a time, really, it's the 7th of June today. That was my left hand PK commentary, which I recorded before I did the first half of this sitting in the bar, so I'm probably confusing you all here, but it doesn't really matter. You're watching the video anyway, so yeah, that's that, really. So, any tips for agility from Boti? Um. Pretty much just go to the course and then you'll learn how to do things quickly. Pretty much as soon as an XP drop appears, you can move on to the next thing really. So what I do is I normally just click to the next one and just do that and get it fast. If you just want to do it, watch Jebrim's video for like two minutes. He shows you how he does the course and then you'll learn pretty quickly how to do the course max speed. But overall, spam clicking things makes you go. I'm pretty much going max speed now really, so it doesn't really matter. I can't really give you many tips for agility, except people like that need to fall onto those spikes and die there. How can you survive falling on that? Are you serious? Well, okay. Well, my character is like two foot tall, and those spikes like a foot tall. I've been paled up to like the. Well, I think my my heart may just exist, but yeah, that'd hurt. Imagine, oh god, that'd hurt. Imagine you fell on a spike under your foot. Okay, that's just not good. That's painful. Under your foot, and it went right up your leg, and it was just like, ah, oh, that'd be so painful. <sighs> Don't get me started on people live stream talking about. Toothpicks, toenails, kicking walls. Oh, that was so painful. Oh, I hate that guy who said that. And I saw him one day and he said, Hey, Boat, you remember me? Toothpicks, toenails. I was just like, Ow. 
Oh, it makes me cringe a lot, things like that. Please jump, please jump. Oh, I hate you! It's the same guy, I think. I'm not even sure. Is it? I don't know. He has a noobish cape, though. Untrimmed range cape. What would you say the rarest untrimmed cape is? Can you get 120 dunge untrimmed? Would the 99 dunge before it trim it? That would be pretty cool, actually. I don't even know. I'm pretty sure you can't, but yeah. What cape about? I'd probably see a construction cape on trim delete. Actually, I've seen that a fair few times. Hmm, thieving? Nah, that's a peasant cape. I don't think I've ever seen a, uh... Nah, I think I've seen every cape on trims, really, but some of them are just rarer than others, really, but... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. So, what was I talking about? Some commentaries. Yeah, overall, small tips for commentaries. How I commentate. I commentate if you do it again, sir. Don't, no, 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 no. He actually has as well. He actually did. I'm going to start using that root match, everyone does. But yeah, uh, I commentate in a way to be entertaining, really. If you Pretty much, if you don't like my commentaries, then unsubscribe, I guess. I mean, I don't really plan on changing my commentaries around. That's something that I see happen a lot for you. I think I may have said it early in this video, but I don't think I did. But when people change around what their videos were, like say I went Max Main, my videos would change completely, and people wouldn't enjoy them as well. No way, no doubt about it. So something that will happen in throughout my YouTube is I will most likely never change really. I'll change for the better, hopefully, but things like my commentary, I'm not going to suddenly change my commentary to try and embrace like another audience of people. That's what you get, green cape slime head for, yeah, you stand there for the rest of your life, mate. I hope his bot broke. He's actually still stood there. His bot is definitely broke, lads. So you get for botting, sir. Disgraceful. So yeah, uh, that is something about me that I think you may want to know. Do I put my commentaries on? Um, I think more questions to answer on that one is, uh, do I fake my hyperness? Do I drink energy potions before... Not energy potions! What am I doing with my life? I am so... I am a haystack right now. Oh, God. Do I drink energy drinks before my um, commentaries? Um, I do sometimes... Actually, no, I don't. I sometimes drink like a Sprite or something. That's got a bit of sugar in there. But most of the time, I just turn the recorder on and go, really. depending. Normally, when I do a commentary, I need to be in the mood for the commentary. And if I'm in the mood for the commentary, I'm hyper as hell. But when I drink Red Bull, my commentaries are just ridiculous. It's just like, what's going on, guys? But yeah, welcome to episode 57 of this. And I'm looking at all the And I'm just like, what the hell did he say? Say hey to this guy. Like, hey, 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 jump. Yeah, when I'm doing uh, things like this, I can, because people don't talk often because I'm changing screen constantly, I can, like, reply to... Um, some of the slimy peasants while I'm doing this, really. So, yeah. Uh, do I fake hyperness? No. I definitely don't fake hyperness. I do, like I said, I do put my commentaries on a bitch to make them enjoyable. But overall, if you ever, like, most of my friends know, if you ever talk to me on Skype, I normally like this anyway, depending what I'm doing, actually. I mean, I'm not going to be in a Skype call and it's like, yo, buddy, what are you doing? I'm doing the delete me, what are you doing, son? I'm just like, nah, nah, no way, nothing like that. But, yeah, when I'm in videos, I do it, I definitely do try to make them more entertaining, but I don't put anything on to try and, like, change who I am to make the video. I am who I am, really. I'm a pretty hyper person in real life. I know that my in real life friends know that I make videos now, which I'll come on to in a second, actually. But yeah, they will know that I'm uh, hyper crazy. They can put their own word to it. I highly doubt any of them are watching this because it's like an hour long or whatever this length is. I think it's like 45 minutes so far. I'm not sure. But yeah, um, all my friends actually know that I make videos now. And. I don't know how they found out, I can't remember. I know that some of them have known since, pretty much since like day one, but uh, some of my in real life friends know that I uh, play this game now, really know that I make videos on YouTube and all that, and overall, um, they didn't really say anything negative about it, but they may say things behind my back, but overall, I'm a type of person where if you say something behind my back, I don't really mind, because I don't know you're saying it, it doesn't affect me in the slightest. Like, if someone came and said something to like my like, said it directly to me, like, I don't know, I mean, I'm not sure, then obviously it, it would affect you more, if, if someone says something behind your back, then you don't know it's happening, really, so it doesn't really matter that people are seeing it, but overall, I don't know how they reacted to me making videos, I don't think they minded, some of them watched my videos, some of them enjoyed my videos, like, I had one of my friends who um, said he watched my videos and he, he only said he understands why I have subscribers but he'd understand more if he actually played the game and stuff like that so overall some of my friends enjoy my videos and they don't even play the game I don't know if they ever have played the game so that has to be saying something about how my commentaries go so that's pretty awesome to hear but yeah overall I would say 70% of people in my year know I play this game and then the other 30% of people that I don't really like talk too often because I'm not in that like area of the the uh, school really i mean i have like this separate area just a corner to myself you know with no one around me but overall the people that i hang like well don't even want to use the hang in this situation just like the people who i'm normally with two in a row what 
the people who I'm normally with, like, in school time, know that I make videos, really. And the people who I'm not really with don't know that I make videos. Now, what the hell is this guy wearing on his head? Because that looks like the, the Queen's crown. How do I get that? Oh, he's from that stupid cryptic clue fest, isn't it? Yeah, coming out, I think I already said that I was going to make a video with the fish hat later on, earlier on in this commentary. But, yeah, I probably will make one with that crown sometime if I ever get it. I can't bother doing cryptic clues. That's just epic. But that looks kind of cool. Though. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So... Yeah, if you're wondering if my friends knew I played this game, then... Oh, what the... How the hell did I fail the log? I'm like 88 agility. 70 damage. Oh, now this person's catch up to you with little oaks. But it's like 100 million uh, agility XP or something. I don't have Swift Go, so I cannot check, really. But, yeah, if uh, you were wondering if my and real life friends knew that I played this game slash made videos, then, yep, there's your answer. Most of them do, some of them don't. They only found out maybe a month ago I did, actually. So, before then, no, they didn't know I played... So another thing about me, uh, I'll just answer some basic questions people may want to know. Now please, I can't be bothered answering questions like, will you ever get attacking defense? You all know, I'm not going to. Now, that may change with the combat update, but I believe I won't. I believe if I'm going to do anything, I'll, I'll wait a bit, find out what's the best build and do something like that. But I don't want to ruin my account for that for an update, really. I will prefer, I, well, I'm not going to say I'm going to quit, really, but... I would prefer to wait until I can find out what to do so I don't do anything I regret. I always do things in this game and regret them. Like, I got uh, back in the BH Creators time, I got defense on my room pure because the creators were sucking because I was 45 defense with summoning. And I just got, I had to go in the high crater and I just got destroyed there, really. And I got defense, bam, creators got lowered to no summoning requirement. I was just like, are you serious? And I would have beasted them creators. So I made a new account to go murder some creators up and it went well. So, um,. What else to talk about? Okay. Now, I believe some people want me to go through, like, all the accounts I've ever had in this game one by one. Now, I have probably made over 20 accounts. I have made, as far as I'm aware, every single PK build possible pre-2010, so I'm not going to go through all the Storm of Armada builds. I've made them all except a Tank Ranger. I am not a fan of Tank Rangers at all. Um, I don't mind if you are one. Well, I do on some level. If you fight me, you're a peasant as a Ranger, but... Overall, I think tank ranging will be some of the most boring, unskilled PKing going. I prefer to put, even though it's not possible, some level of skill in PK. If I'm a tank ranger, you attack someone, sit back and just eat food every now and then until you get a defire, bam, dead. And if you hybrid as a tank ranger, or tank, I don't think it's called hybriding when you've got, even though it is two attack styles, it is the most unskillful thing in the game, honestly. You free someone and you range them when they're in robes. You're obviously not going to die, and if you die, that's just disgraceful, really, but, yeah. I've never been a fan of tanks, really. I never will make a Tank Ranger account. I know that for a fact. So, even if it becomes the best build, I'm never going to make one. I prefer to make something different, like, I believe if I ever make a new account, it's going to have either higher than this attack level, or it's going to have 50 attack. 50 attack was by far, well, I'm not going to go into all my builds, really, but... I believe some people want a video like that, and um, while I'm here, actually, if you ever watch these videos, I don't mind how many comments you post. Like, if you're watching this video and you want to answer things along with the video, I will happily read all your comments one by one. It's fine. I read all my comments, like, pretty much all of them. I don't reply often. I do sometimes. I normally reply, like, wait, I do say it a lot, but I normally reply when I see a reason to reply. Like, I do double-check my comments. Like, if someone's said something... And someone's replied the answer now. I'm not going to reply to the same answer, really. If someone can answer a question for you, it's fair enough. But yeah, if you want to leave more than one comment to these videos, it's fine. Turn the video on, reply to everything you want to. If you leave 11 comments, I don't really mind. I will read them all and I get a uh, better, like, opinion of you, really. I mean, I see people's comments. I see some, like... I'll give some personal shout-outs to some people whose comments I leave in my videos now. Unfortunately, by doing this, some people might, like, say, how have you never noticed my comments? I comment all the time. But some people... I think they're, like, elf... Bosk or something like that. I don't know how, Elf, B-O-S-Q-U-E, I don't have a clue how you pronounce that, but yeah, I see his comments on my videos all the time, always positive comments, always replies to what I ask him the thing, and honestly, it's great to see that he can actually leave me some feedback on it, and there are some people like this, John on Edge as well, he's on my friends list, but he's been leaving nice comments on my videos since like day one, really, and there's another guy as well, I can't remember his name, and there's also that peasant that was saying, if you don't risk an arcane stream, I'm going to unsubscribe, you're 120 Dungeoneer, and I was like, Mate, I don't have it unlocked yet. This is a PK series. Peasants, really. But overall, I do I do I do notice who leaves comments. I know I know a lot of you will leave comments on my videos and I may not notice them, but overall it's these people that always seem to leave like nice comments. When I keep reading them, eventually I just recognise people's names. But these people have been leaving comments on my videos for over a year, really. That's probably why. But yeah, don't go out of your way to try and leave me constant comments so that I recognise you. Seriously, if you're going to leave a nice comment, do it properly. Don't, like, put it on or anything. But obviously, and obviously if I ask for feedback, it would be fantastic if you could go feedback and everything. So if you haven't already left a million comments and you want to go leave some feedback, feel free to 
rewind the video now and watch it again or finish it off and watch it again. That's like a nice whatever how long this video is times two divided by a raises bank times by a raises bank. Time long really. I don't know why I did that. I just felt like throwing it in there really. But here's this guy now I was calling him a bot. Please do not say No he's watching my videos! Damn it! Oh no. I get my happy face. Okay. Don't watch this one please. Oh the left hand thing. Yeah like I said I just uploaded it pretty much just then but unfortunately he's gonna watch this video and he's gonna be like Right, I'm unsubscribing. Unless you watch the whole thing and gets to hear. Sorry, mate! There we go, now he's resubscribed. You're a noob, right? He's unsubscribed. I love you. He's subscribed. Yay! And he's not a haystack. There we go, he's definitely subscribed now. Oh! There we go. So, I need to go back. I mean, completely hell. I need to go back into what I was um, talking about in the first place. And that's things to know about, really. If you take this rope, I will destroy your soul. I can't really say that, to be honest, because I. Yeah, let's not go there. But, yes, um, blah, 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 things to know about me. Okay, so, um, people ask me something like my music taste or something, like who is my favourite artist, these are just some basic question answers really to get done, really, but, um, my music taste is, uh, my favourite genres really, I can listen to most genres of music, now obviously not like stuff like country, I don't listen to that, but overall, things that are enjoyable to listen to, but, my favourite genre of music is probably drum and bass. Actually, I, I might prefer liquid drum and bass. Drum and bass, drum step, liquid drum and bass. They are probably my three favourite ones. And then throw dubstep in there as well. I do like dubstep. Not all dubstep. Though. Some dubstep is just vomit worthy. Seriously, some of it is so bad. I mean, I mean, some people say Skrillex is bad. Overall, I enjoy listening to Skrillex. Not, I'm not like a huge fanboy of Skrillex. I'm not a super mainstream one, even though I did have an intro with Skrillex in. But I can't listen to Skrillex. But there are some where it just goes like... Something along the lines of, let's just use it like, drop the bass, and it just goes, duh, 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 duh. and it's just like, what the heck? Pretty much, if the, the song has a terrible drop, I've closed it instantly. And pretty much, I go onto a UFKF dubstep if I'm ever going to go on there, which sucks these days. And I listen to the song, and if the drop is just vomit worthy, I click off the song straight away. It has to have a good drop, or in my opinion, the song's just awful. Or a good rhythm overall. So yeah, they're my favourite um, music genres really, but I do listen to loads, like I listen to grime, I listen to rap, I listen to dance, I listen to, I don't know, hip hop. I listen to a lot of music genres, but they're probably my favourite ones really. Now, my favourite artist right now, previously it was Chase the Status. If you've been subscribed for a while, you're probably going to be wondering why I just said previously Chase the Status, because I've been a fan of, I've been, Chase the Status has been my favourite artist for about two years now maybe? I saw them live ages ago. When I saw them live, they became my favourite artist. Really. I did listen to them before live, but after live, I was just like, wow, that was amazing. Seriously. Chasing Stays Live, I need to see them again. I think it was... I don't even know if I made videos back when I saw it. I can't remember, really. But yeah, and my favourite artist now is Black Mill, and I believe he is a YouTube artist. He only has 70,000 subscribers. He is not mainstream at all, but yep. There we go, I'm listening to it right now. I listen, this is like the only thing I listen to right now. I don't know, his genre is a melodic dub, mel, something like melodic dubstep. I don't know how you pronounce that first word, or if it's that word. It's something with an M, I know that. I can listen to his music forever, seriously. I don't know why, but his music is honestly amazing. Really. I don't know why, but I mean, if I go here now, oh, okay. I, I was going to skip through the songs. I mean, I've got the playlist on right now. It's just going to play like, uh, I think it's... 15 Black Mill songs in a row, really, so that's nice for a cheeky little skill in vlog there. And as you may have noticed, I do leave Black Mill songs in the background of my videos. Um, obviously, I'm not doing that to try and, like, boost his... He's obviously got more subscribers than me, but overall, for a music artist with only 70,000 subscribers, that isn't the hugest out there. It's pretty damn high, I'll admit that, but, yep, he's always had room for improvement, so hopefully I'm helping him out a bit. But honestly, I'm helping him out now, actually, for everyone watching this video. If you don't know who Black Mill is, listen to him seriously, because... Everyone who listens to him gets trans just like instantly brainwashed, you know. Well, that's the wrong word to use there, but instantly just becomes a fan, honestly. In my opinion, some of the best music I've ever listened to is coming from Black Mill right now. Honestly, it's so good. Yeah, so if you don't know who he is, feel free to check him out. It'd be great to help him out. Good internet, Adam. It's amazing. Look at this. Can anyone else moonwalk on the spot on a log? That's fantastic there. So for disconnect, I'm gonna pause this video. Yeah, there we go. Nice lag. Oh, still don't know what that stupid cog is. There we go, alright, move on my way, agility thing. Now I'm 81, oh, God, I thought I was agility, yeah. But yeah, Black Mill is definitely my favourite artist, and I do leave Black Mill songs in the back of my videos, because it's pretty much the perfect songs to put there. It's just relaxing, it's quiet in the background, it's just a little extra to my commentaries, and I did it on my Tokar Cal from Scratch episode one, really, and obviously some people really enjoyed it. I believe if I ever put music in the background of my videos, it's always going to be Black Mill, seriously. Non-copyright, 
amazing that's all it needs to be really so yeah moving off that let's move on to something else to talk about so i could talk about i was about to say tv series there but like i said in my last video i always always talk about them really so i won't go into those but if you want to get the usual thing i'm actually going to start watching i have like right if we go on to the tv series i'm currently watching again really i'm going to start trying i need to watch the walking dead and i'm going to start watching dexter now i've actually that's like seven series long, six series long, I think, at the most. That's going to take me a hell of a long time to catch up on. But if you watch Dexter, leave some comments. Like I did say earlier, leave as many comments as you want. Leave some comments on what you think of it, because I'd like to know how good it is before I get it. Because I'm tempted to buy the box set, because my friend wants to watch it as well. And the box set's something like 50 quid or something for every single every single series, really. And I'm willing to spend that. I mean, I, can, I know I could watch it online, but I'm willing to spend it, because I can lend it to my friend as well. So that is pretty good. A happy seeker. That's an awesome name right now, I'm not going to lie. But he's doing darts, so he's just a peasant. Right? He's un un unsubscribed from him straight away, but... Yeah, okay, so... Let's talk about I don't know why I did that, but... Um, <clears throat> that was uh, some other things I needed to uh, cover, really. So I'm sure I have more things to say here. What else do people want to know about me? Um, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I don't know what else people might want to know about me. Is my phone going off? On. Maybe I'll read this text out to you all. Unless, oh, it's a, yeah, it's a text, not a BBM message. Right, let's go. I'm not going to read it out, but maybe I will. I think it's going to be my mate who I'm lending Dexter to. Let me go. Right, let's go. Speaking of TV suit, right here we go. He just finished The Wire. Right, that's the top rated. Uh, that's the like most rated TV series one that I'm also watching. And he left me that saying he's just finished it. He said that he had watched the last episode. He's putting it off for ages now. Fair enough. Okay, so I read the text out to you all. I deserve a million pounds for that. For him, it's just no reason, really. But yeah, I'm also watching The Wire. If you watch The Wire as well, actually, you could leave some comments on that. But that's the currently the most top rated TV series of all time, not including Planet Earth. And I'm currently watching that. And I'm on series two, episode one at the moment, so I'm not very far into Actually, I'm on series two, episode two, but I haven't watched episode two yet, if that makes sense, really. So if you watch that as well, leave some comments, because I kind of do get bored watching that thing. But I just want to try and push my way through it, because apparently it's like amazingly good, according to him anyway, and according to ratings, it must be good. So I just have to watch it all, really, and I'm sure it'll be uh, pretty awesome. But if you watch it, please leave some comments on what I should like do, really, because I, I do need to watch it. But I have like a billion TV series to watch anyway, so... Yes, moving on to other things about me people want to know. What's my favourite colour? My favourite colour is probably blue, just like a whale in the sea. No problem at all. Last one, why do I love whales so much? People might want to know that. Um, the reason I love whales so much is pretty much... Well, I don't know if it applies to everyone, really, but the first cuddly toy you get when you're young is normally an animal that you love for, like, ages, really. Like, I know that my brother got a parrot, and he loved parrots for ages. I know my everyone got a mouse, and he loved mice for ages. And my everyone got a snake, and he loved snakes for ages. And then I got myself a big cuddly blue whale for 20p or something like that, and it was just like, oh, it's amazing. I've still got it, and it's like 10 and a half years. Why would you fall? 10 and a half years now. And actually, my... um. First RuneScape name was actually, my first RuneScape account was actually named after this whale, so yeah, going strong on the whales. Like I said, I have one on, over my screen right now, blocking me, but yeah. People ask how many whales have I got, I've actually forgotten the count, I believe it's definitely over 60, I know that, believe it or not, I have over 60 whales. I used to, I kind of did stop collecting recently, but I used to just go on eBay and I'd search, and pretty much if I saw a whale that was probably longer than 3 foot long, I'd probably just buy it regardless of the price. Like the biggest one I've got is probably about... Um, it's about just under tall, less tall than me, so I'm about maybe six foot tall. It's about five foot five long, maybe five foot five long, probably about uh, through two and a half feet wide. It's massive, really. And I think I've shown it in a video before, like one of my old in real life videos on my old channel, really. I'm not sure if it's there, but it's huge. And yeah, everyone knows that I like whales, really, and I don't know why. But yeah, I mean, I've been tempted recently to set, change my name on Almost Famous to a whale for sale. I don't know why, but I just I just like names like that. It just, it just makes me laugh, really. Like That reminds me of a guy called a Happy Whale or something. I was just like, nice name, mate. I love it. I need to add him still, because I like names like that. It's awesome. And before I even change the name to something to do with the whale, so that I add them, really. But yeah, I remember doing that a while ago. I mean, I added a guy because he changed his name to Boaty something, and I've made in a video. Like, this guy did that, and then I joined my friend's chat, and everyone was changing their name to Boaty. So I was like, what is this? I added like 20 people for no reason. I actually deleted half of them because they don't really talk to me often anymore. Yeah, about that. Please, if you're going to join my friend's chat, if, unless you join my friend's chat with an amazing name, like, involving a whale, I'll probably, if you have an amazing name, full stop, I'll probably say nice. Why do I keep stopping there? Please, please, please. Yeah, that's what you get, mate. Oh, there he's unsubscribed. Don't unsubscribe. And he's not subscribed. 
Here's the deal. If he crosses this and doesn't fall, he has to resubscribe. Please, please, don't fall. Yes, extra subscriber. Wait, what the hell is that tree stump doing there? This tree has been cut down. Oh no! I wonder who the hell wrote up all the exams for this game. Like, I can examine like anything, and it's just like small but powerful looking. But I can't examine that dude. I want to examine him. He has the most boring life ever. I'm not gonna lie. I wonder how much he gets paid for doing that. Four GP an hour. Not bad. Unless someone just kills him and then he loses it all. Oh, right, I'm getting sidetracked here. But I don't actually know how long this video is. I mean, I'm talking for the past 50 minutes on this one. And I think my other one was about 12 minutes long. So, 62 minutes long, no problem. But I don't think I'm out of topics yet. So, yeah, if you are going to change your name to something involving a whale, I probably won't add you unless it's, like, amazing. If you change your name for whale for sale, I will not add you. Simply because that's the one everyone's going to go for, really. But I'm not telling you to change your name. I'm just saying, really, that... if you, now, Like I said, if you join my French chat and you have a awesome name, like I see some pretty funny names, sometimes I'll just say like, nice name to you or something like that, but, yeah, that's about that, so, what else do people want to know about, let's go to a bit of RuneScape related things, really, that people may want to know, uh, what is my favourite skill, uh, Slayer has and always will be my favourite skill, but currently, I do enjoy Dungeoneering quite a bit, now that I'm 120, I can just suicide all my flaws, and if you're not caring about deaths and just running around dying all the time, it's quite a fun skill, actually, unless you're with a peasant team, such as Desecrator, who takes 15 hours to GT to do a ferret, because he's thinks that we're all above like 93 when we're not he is a bit of a peasant really but <clears throat> I mean there's some people who do dungeoning like competitively to go for the fastest floors and all that in my opinion that probably wouldn't be fun I do my dungeon floors like as fast if you watch my live streams for my from scratch thing I key on my own floors really with, t with a team really and uh, yeah I'll have to admit if I say I'm a good keyer NHS is going to leave the longest comment of laughs in the world really I'm definitely not a good keyer but I am learning I probably only keyed about 15 floors normally I just like uh, if, if at all, if I'm doing it legit, I just join the floor and suicide, really. But I think keying is probably better for me because I can learn how to do it better, really. So that is uh, pretty awesome. So, yeah, I'm definitely not the best keyer, but I'm getting semi better. And NHS actually teaches me because he's a peasant, really. Okay, another thing I can actually talk about is I actually, um, because if you've been watching my live streams, I'm getting DDoSed a lot lately. I've always actually wanted a way to uh, be able to talk with my subscribers, really. And the only way I can actually talk with my subscribers is in-game, really. But obviously, if there's millions of them, I can't reply to them all. So, I actually made an MSN, really. So, if you want to add my MSN, it's in the description. And it's going to be in the description of every video. I know some of you are just laughing at me now, like, who uses MSN these days? The reason I'm using MSN is because it is IP protected. Now, before you say you can't get IPs from it, I'm using Windows Live Messenger. And it's been confirmed by a lot of people that IPs can only be taken from something called, like, MSN Pro, really. So, my IP cannot be taken from whatever I'm using currently, which is Windows Live Messenger, really. So, it's completely safe. So, if you want to add on MSN forever to ever have like a talk or something it's in the description please do not add me on MSN and say can you add me in game because I'll have to eat your throat if you do that and that wouldn't be good because I mean it's just a place for me to talk to him and I can't just simply because you've added me I can't just like like you know add everyone really I can't bother doing that it's like 10k XP loss don't you dare don't you dare don't you dare yeah okay that's good so yeah, if you want to add me on there feel free to uh, please don't spam me as soon as I sign on because if everyone does then say like I don't I know people don't use MSN these days, but let's say 50 people added me and 12 spam me on last sign in, I'd like quite a bit and I would not be happy about that. So if you ever want to talk though, if I'm ever online, feel free to hit a message up and I'll get into a conversation with you. Please remember that I may be doing quite a lot in game and my replies sometimes may not be the best. Like you may say something, I might just reply with like haha with the uh, tongue out face, which is the best face ever, by the way. I mean, for all you know, I might be training mining while doing a fight kill at the same time, which means obviously I can't reply instantly. But I'll be glad to have a uh, chat with people, really. It's kind of cool. I've had a couple of chats with people already. But I really, I do not mind who actually adds me on MSN. I don't know if I'll ever do, like, large group chats in there or something. But overall, it's probably just going to be one-on-one -on -one conversations with my subscribers, really, which is uh, pretty awesome to have. Also, depending how many people do actually add me on MSN, I may not be, if I'm in, like, 10 conversations at once, expect the replies to be late. And they will probably be very short in that thing because I will still be trying to uh, train whatever skill I'm doing on here, which would be uh, quite bad. So, yeah, if you ever wanted a place to contact me well, MSN is a good one. Now, if you want to buy a fight kiln as well, if you want to get one of those from me or something, MSN would be a fantastic place to contact me because I've got it set so I can read previous conversations so I can go back and check things. And um, when I do all this like, fight kiln business for YouTube, when you send me a message, if you don't understand something, I have to send you a message back. I can't check what you sent me the last time i can't refer back to it without manually loading your message up again which kind of sucks quite a bit so with MSN, i can just scroll back up and find it which would be a 
pretty awesome really. So I'm going to move off this because I know like I'd say 95% of you don't really use MSN anymore. But also my Facebook is in the description. Uh, I only use my Facebook for giving out unlisted videos of mine or like sending a video out before it's processed so my Facebook can like get it five minutes earlier than everyone else. It's not the hugest thing but I also give out uh, live stream links on there occasionally for private live streams. So there are bonuses really on... Yeah, that's about it. But yeah, if you ever want to have like a one-on-one -on -one chat with me and you can't find me in-game or something, then yeah, MSN would be a pretty sweet place to see me. And it is in the description. Just to say, it is boaty at rootcore.org. It's under a private domain, so I cannot get doxxed from it as far as I'm aware, which is pretty good. So, yes, because I mean, for those that don't know, I got doxxed like two months ago. I think it's probably longer than that. Probably about three months ago, I got doxxed, and the person got all my details. I was like, oh, God, this is not good. But, yeah, so I've got protection on this one as far as I'm aware, so it should be good. And like I said, I've got IP protection as well, so nobody can steal my IP from it. So I probably won't be on Skype much anymore either. So, I mean, I always wanted to give my Skype out with subscribers, but obviously my IP can just get taken and placed everywhere in the world, really. So it was obviously a lot smarter for me to uh, get something where it's IP protected. So, yep, MSN came up, and I was very happy about it. So... I'll move along now, I think, well, I think I just said I was going to move along, but I uh, <clears throat> didn't really, so, yeah, next thing to talk about, so I said my favourite skill was, um, really, what was it, uh, Slayer or Dungeoneer, really. what is my least favourite skill, I don't know what my least favourite skill is, some of them are already 99, it's probably fishing, actually, I really did hate fishing, even though it's kind of AFKable, I don't know, I mean, I don't really hate agility, it's really slow, but it's not that bad of a skill, if you, I know, I know it is a bad skill, like, the reason it's fairly fast for me now is because I'm using a penance horn, so it's double XP. Without double XP bonuses, agility is probably my most least hit favourite skill. Before Living Rock Caverns, mining was also horrible. Before Runespan, runecrafting was horrible. The game is changing quite a lot, so the skills are getting quite a lot easier, really. So, I guess that's something that's changing around my most favorite. I mean, you may say, why is my thieving level so low? when it's like not a slow skill. The reason thieving level is low is because it's such a fast skill, I'm saving it to be my last 99 really, so once I have all the 99s it's just like, oh finally, thieving to go, three days later 99, no problem. I could I could probably get that in about 40 hours, probably less than that, it's about 200k an hour easily, so that's like 40 hours there, yeah just under 40 hours I could do that, so that's like four days of no life in really if I wanted to, so probably about eight days, probably longer than eight days for me to get that fever. That's, that's long! Yeah, I don't like that anymore, but I know it's fast than 200 KXP an hour, so yeah, it probably won't be that long, so that is um quite good right there, but yeah, if you want the, uh, once again, to know what order my 99s have been, I don't know if runecrafting will be on the next one now. Runecrafting is my final semi af cable skill left, I don't think mining is af cable as people say it is really, but yeah, because I do fight kilns on people, before I go to my 200 mils, I want to max out, so when I do fight kilns, I can't do my af cable. I can't do non-AF cable skills and fight kill really. I probably could, but my XP rates would be slow and I wouldn't want to. So I'm going to only be rune spanning whenever I'm doing fight kill. So if you ever see me at rune span really, I'm probably doing a fight kill as well. I can reply though, it's fine. Seriously, I half AFK my fight kills these days because they're just so easy. But yeah, I mean, if you ever see me at rune span, that's what I'm doing. But I believe 99 mining will be the one I'm working on next. And I mean, I'm, I'm using my penance horn here. I think I might go fill my horn up today actually, 7th of June. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not live streaming at the moment because I just continue to get DDoS, so yeah, I might go fill my horn up actually and go get a cheeky million mine. I might get 90 mining, not today obviously, but I might just stick 99 mining, try and, 90 mining and try and get that before the uh, holidays end. I go back to school on the 11th of June, which uh, I can't really say, it kind of sucks, I've had a fairly long break really, but yeah, I mean, I'm going back to do A-levels, I mean, if say I had another two months off, pfft, I'd be 200 mil everything by the end of summer at that rate. <laughs> but yeah, my summer holidays, I'm, I'm actually going to Malta later on in June, let's talk about this actually. So, there is going to be about two weeks of no videos from me, I might actually give my YouTube to someone who I trust, like probably Nathan, I trust, actually no, he'd go abuse it and like do some stuff, but I might give my YouTube to somebody I trust really and let them upload, send them some videos from me and let them upload it. Then maybe they could upload some videos themselves. Because I mean, if I trust them with a YouTube, well, with my YouTube channel, really, then overall, if they want to make their own videos, I think I have to allow it, really. But yeah, I'd have to choose very, very carefully who I trust with that. And it has to be someone local so I can actually send very large videos after. It might be Harry, actually. I might let him do it. Overall, I don't know if I'm actually going to do that, though, but I'll probably. Um, just, you probably will be having to go too much. I know I can, I have the partners, so I can, the partners, what? I know I have partnerships, so I can upload videos, like, scheduled, but I don't want to upload, like, seven videos scheduled for different days, because it just, I think it'd just mess up, and I'd come back and have three subscribers, and be like, what happened? And I'd cry, really. But yeah, around the end of June, guys, you're going to have to go about two weeks without a video from me, which will suck. Maybe if there's internet around there, I could do some IRL videos while I'm there, so you can see how burnt I get, because I'm obviously going to get toasted, really, but I'm actually pretty good at, um, 
oh, there's going to be some bad ways to use there because I'm going to get a load of QQ comments. But I'm pretty good at taking care of myself on holiday as for getting like sunburn and stuff. I'm good with all the sun cream and stuff. Like when I went on some holiday, I can't remember the place, I actually got I actually got a tan and I didn't burn. Believe that or not, it happened. That's because I was taking care of myself pretty well. So that's pretty awesome. But yeah, I might get some IRL videos out while I'm there, which is pretty awesome. So uh, no promises about that, by the way. But yeah, we'll see what happens really. But overall, it should be fun. So yeah, guys, <clears throat> end of June, halfway through July. You're going to see no videos from me. And that reminds me of a sub thing. I haven't got any clips for a PK video yet. So if you ever want to hybrid me, um, if my friend's chat is ever set to the word Brid Fights, it means I will be in Brid Fights FC. And most likely, I will either be making a uh, hybriding video or I'll be working on clips for setting the bar. So obviously, if you want to be in either of those, and my thing says Brid Fights, join the Brid Fights friend's chat, and then you can probably uh, catch me in there, really. And uh, obviously, you can Brid. Now, if you do deathmatch, if, I, if I'm if i doing commentary for a video, if you deathmatch, I'll put it in. If it's for a PK video, I am only putting the best of the best clips I can possibly get in that video, really. So if you deathmatch me, it definitely will not go in, unless I get some absolute crazy... Pretty much how I'm doing my own clips here is if I fail one switch, really, I'm going to put it into a maybe pile. If I get Once I get flawless clips, that's going straight in there. I want to get a fair few high comment, high specs. I'm, I only need to get like 8 or 10 clips for the full video because there is 4 of us and then Ramlade's going to edit it and all that. So 40, well, 32 to 40 clips is easily a 10 plus minute video. So that's going to be good. The video is going to be mainly um, based upon uh, like skill really. So for those that may be worrying that it's going to be like my 100th video where it's like incredibly overrated. It's not going to be like that. It's pretty much just going to be fairly basic editing really where you can concentrate more on the... Um, the, the clips themselves, like, we'd all, we'd all consider ourselves a fairly decent hybrids. Obviously, some of us would be way better than others. So the video overall should be really enjoyable to watch. But, yeah, I know some of you probably aren't going to watch that because you're not interested in things like that. But in my opinion, it's going to be an amazing video. And personally, I think we might be able to scrape 100k views on it. Now, I don't want to sound that big-headed there, but, I mean, we have four YouTubers. We all upload, like, a promo link, which links you straight to it. That's going to be easily 20k views, maybe not, 15k views by default. And, obviously, with the ratings it gets, if it's an amazing video, more traffic comes, then maybe more big YouTubers find out about it and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, maybe get 100k views. And, obviously, Ramlade isn't partnered. We found that would be the fairest way to do it. Considering Ramlade is putting the most effort into the video with the editing, obviously, we decided that it'd be fairer to go up on his channel so he probably, so he gains the most from it, really, like... Overall, if you want the background information, I came up with the idea of doing this video. Uh, don't you dare. No, he's done it. Yeah, PIDs. PID there, mate. Look at him running around with his XP ways there. But yeah, I came up with the idea, and I pretty much like coordinated uh, most of it, really. And then we're just left to our own devices now for clips. So we'll see what happens. Then Ramlade's going to edit it, and then obviously... Once he's edited it, it'll render it and blah, blah, blah. Send it to us. Then anything we need fixed, we'll go around that, blah, blah, blah. We do a lot. And it's just an amazing video, really. So for those wondering that Ramlade may have come up with the idea just to try and gain a load of subs, overall, uh, I came up with the idea and I wanted to gain a lot of subs, really. Simply because he's going to put a lot of effort into it. But I thought it would be a brilliant idea. So for those wondering why people like Mountain, Yes, I'm Mike, like people like that weren't in the video, the reason was because I came up with the idea and I thought it'd be best if we did British hybrids only. Now, I know there's probably some more British hybrids out there, but I just thought that would be a fairly sweet idea to do with just British hybrids only and we'll see how it turns out. But yep, that is the reason why that. Now, I believe, yes, I'm Mike. I don't know if he's watching this video because it's pretty long. I believe this is the longest video I've ever uploaded, but I'm still going strong here. I mean, can anyone else talk to themselves for an hour and 20 minutes or however long this is now? I don't know how long my first half was, but I think it's an hour and 14 minutes, hour and 15, something like that. But yeah, I believe Yes, I'm Mike's going to uh, work on a video that features only room pures, so I'll obviously be getting some fresh clips for that as well, and that will be a pretty beast video because I think Yes, I'm Mike is a uh, sick editor as well. And then editor that isn't really known that well is like I'm Mel and Zaya, something like that. I watched some of his videos, and he's a pretty sick editor himself, really, so... Maybe he'll come up with a video idea soon. I'd love to see one from him. But, yeah, that's it. Pretty good. I think I'm subscribed to him. He only has, like, 400, 500 subscribers. But, yeah, I enjoy his editing. It's pretty sick, really. But I'm not going to go into all these videos, like, makers I, I enjoy. I believe I uploaded that in one of my earlier Setting the Bar videos. And if you don't already know, my Setting the Bar videos are in a playlist, really. So you can actually watch all seven of them, once this one's uploaded, obviously, in a row. If you ever have a huge depth and skill to train, that's, like six hours maybe six five five and a half hours something like that it's just simply me talking for ages about different topics really so yeah the fit i mean i'm not going to set it as a challenge but the first person who needs to listen to something for like seven hours doing a skill like this or doing an all-nighter feel free to go through my set in the bar videos leave, leave if you ever do it leave a comment saying 
like in the first video, okay, starting to watch all set in the bar videos, here I go, and then when that one ends, it'll move you straight onto the next one, and then leave the next comment, obviously, and then obviously I can find the time differences between the comments, and I can find out the first person who actually did it. Now, please just don't go over and say, yo, watching all these videos now, and don't really do it. There's not, nothing amazing. I mean, you're obviously not going to win anything. I'm not offering you to, I'm not offering a prize for the first person to do it. I'm just saying, first one to do it, leave those comments so I can know. I mean, it'd be pretty sweet if someone could watch me talk for six hours straight. That'd be amazing really now if i could i would make a six hour sit in the bar video no problem but i don't think i'll ever make one over two hours long because i think two hours is talking quite a long time really now to watch a two hour sit in the bar you could watch a film in that time and i'm pretty sure a film would probably pass the time a lot faster than a set in the bar video like this but i mean just put on an amazing film one maybe you haven't seen before i don't know if films go faster if you haven't seen it or if you have seen it Probably if you have seen it, it probably goes a bit faster, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But yeah, I mean, that would be quite incredible to see, really. But how much XP? 68k XP off the level, so I'm not sure how much XP I've trained either, but considering this video is long, this must be some record-breaking experience you're training here right now. So if you want to interact again, make sure you tell me your experience at the end of this video. Obviously, that's if you can remember what you started with approximately, so that's what I do almost every video, really. But yeah, I don't know why I keep flicking to my stats. I'm just thinking looking at that might suddenly bring a topic up, really, but... Yeah, I'm not sure what I was talking about now. I just started talking about playlists and setting the bars and stuff like that. I can't really remember. So, um, fortunately, I kind of ran out of topics, but I can go back to what I was uh, talking about. Oh, it was the um, a PK video thing. So, yeah, um, I need to get clips of that before I go to Malta. So, like I said, if my French chat's ever set to bridge fights, maybe if you are like to my Facebook, I will... Um, tell you when I'm in Bridfights FC on there, so if you want to join. Now please, if you are going to bridge me, I should have said this earlier, if you are not between 94 and 104 combat, I will not bridge you, because you're either too high or too low, and they won't be enjoyable. If you're between 94 and 104, 104 is 6 levels higher than me, and 94 is 4 levels lower, then I will happily fight you. Now, if I am going for clips, I will be in try-hard bridge mode, believe me, I'll be trying my best. I won't be commentating. Now, if you watch my live streams when I go hybriding, my switches, my hybriding, sorry, is so good when I'm not talking about it. Normally, I do commentate everything live because that proves a good live stream from me, really. But yeah, if you do bridge fight, I'm not trying to say that I'm like, you're not going to kill me or anything. You can quite easily kill me. But if you are like level 94, I'm not going to go easy on you if I'm recording for the uh, video. I'm going to try and get the best clips I can possibly get, really. Because if I upload that and I have slimy clips in there, all the comments are going to be like, almost famous ruined this video. I'm like, damn, I want to have it so like, almost famous is a beast and everyone else ruined this video. I'm like, yeah, that's what I thought. So I will be spending a hell of a long... I don't know how long everyone else is going to be spending on their clips, but seriously, I am going to be going for the best of the best clips I can possibly get, really. I mean, there will be, literally be flawless clips. I had... Oh, the most annoying thing ever, though, is when I'm getting the sickest clips in the universe and the guy teleports because I can't kill him. I had a clip ages ago and I was recording it without commentary purposely for the video and I did about... I think it was four or five, five tick, one tick, five ways where, if, if you don't know what that is, pretty much talking about game ticks again, a one game tick is when everything updates, like as soon as I click this, the game tick is between me registering it, clicking really, and a one tick, five way is me wielding five items in one game tick, I did that four or five times in a row, like, and that looks absolutely, so that's literally auto switch, is standards right there. And then I did a uh, one of these Walter Tinger rushes. I don't know if it's called anything. I'll just I'll quickly uh, copyright a name on it so Luke's upset really. But I just call it like an NHS rush or something because I never see it anywhere except on his videos really. And they're so sick. And I did that on his Mystics after like a 280 XP barrage. I spec zero zero. I was so upset because it would have been the best clip I ever got really. But it's one of the standards of the clips I'll be getting. Look all these peasants walking. But yeah, ah, see you, mate. Oh, it's that guy again. I oh, hope he's not subscribed to me because I would have lost like him. He's a subscriber, definitely, really. But yeah, overall, the clips I'm going to be getting really is just like switching, helm takeoffs, press switches all the time, high specs. I'm going to aim for about maybe three high specs, three flawless switches really and then like two clips with like ridiculous switching in there and then obviously any extra switches and then I'm going to try to get two or three third age breeding clips in there with chaotic risks in there I'm just going for the best clips I can possibly get but yeah I did get sidetracked a bit on this uh, a PK video for a while so if I go back to uh, my multi trip really overall don't expect to um see any videos from me during that week it's around the 30th of june i think i go on that trip so it's halfway through six four but yeah i'll come back i'll make an arrow video before i go and one after so you can see the change in skill and color really and i'll obviously going to come back with a uh, purple hair or something like that and i don't know what else but yeah it should be a sweet i think go on holiday last year actually i went to florida in 2010 
Uh, 2011, I didn't go any, we didn't go anywhere, and then 2012, we're going to Malta. So yeah, I've never been to uh, Malta before. I'm horrible at geography, so I'll probably get it wrong, but I believe it's somewhere like south of Italy, my parents said something like that. I'm not 100% sure about that, but yeah, hopefully so. I mean, when I was doing history, mate, don't even get me started on history. It was like, we're doing some like Manchurian crisis, I think. You will have heard of that before if you did history. And I was like, I thought Manchuria was in Russia. Yeah. Don't get me started. I'm sure some of you have probably burst out. I didn't know it was in Africa. Please say it's in Africa. Please just say it's in Africa now I've said that, but <clears throat> whatever. It doesn't really matter that much difference. But I'm horrible at geography, so I'm not too sure where Malta is or anything like that. But overall, I normally have a good time on holiday, really. It should be fun, obviously. The uh, depressingness of a uh, lack of roomscape will come and I'll be in the corner of the bedroom, rolling back and forth with my legs curled up and my arms around him with the... Uh, Lack of, well, roof drawl symptoms of RuneScape, really, so. <clears throat> oh, well, that's kind of a joke, by the way. Don't take it seriously. People take things seriously quite a lot of my videos. Like, someone left a comment saying, everyone, almost famous bots, he replied to some guy in the live stream when he said, what bot to use? I said, autogemcutpro.exe. Are you serious? Now, I don't know if he's one of those trolls that just does these really known things just to try and get as many replies as he can possibly get, really, just, like, because he wants the attention or something like that. But if... I did bot, I wouldn't admit to it, seriously. I'll tell you now, I don't bot, and I did just say if I bot it, I wouldn't admit to it, but I know for a fact you all know I don't bot, really. Simply because, like I said earlier, I have like 130 cakes XP per hour on my adventure log with all the PK time. Get rid of all that PK time and all that, even though I do train XP, it'd be easier 160 cakes XP an hour. No bot, as far as I'm aware, can even touch that, depending on the skill, obviously, I mean... Yeah, I mean, some skills like fishing can't really speed up much, but yeah, um, if you think I bought it, I don't really mind, you can report me for it, I know I didn't bot this account, and for those wondering, did I bot at all, I have bought it in the past, I'll just admit to it now, I may as well, but I didn't bot this account, I haven't touched the bot on this account, because I said in a video uh, a year ago, and I got a comment with a reply to this or something like that, really, someone linked me the video, I think someone linked me the video saying, yeah, uh, give it a year, we'll see where I am then, if I bought it, I don't want all that taken away from me, because I might be maxed, and here I am. Exactly the same attack and defense level. My combats have changed ridiculously, really. So, yeah, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, I did bot, I have botted accounts in the past. As far as I'm aware, I've botted a void set on um, an account ages ago, and I made an account and I botted it 100%. I've said this story a few times, but it was like 60 attack, 90, 86, 93 strength or something, 45 defense, Barry's gloves, and all that. 100% botted except for the quests and I was going to PK and I logged out by the ditch and then logged in and the account had been disabled and I was like no really but yeah I don't really bot anymore I don't really think I'll ever bot ever again really I know people watching this video are probably botting right now but overall I don't really mind if bots weren't here some prices would just be so expensive really that it'd be only dices and fl well floweries as some people like say these are floweries stakers that can get all the 99 skills really bots kind of lower the prices so it does help some people out quite a lot but overall do i like bots do i hate them i'd have to say this game would be a lot better without bots because people wouldn't have as much as they currently do now there'll be less people with turmoil turmoil would be something rare to see things like i don't know what dungeoneering when i dunge pro whatever it was existed so many less people would have had a chaotic malls and all that so <clears throat> it obviously would have made a huge difference in the um community but it has definitely helped out a bit so I'd have to say that um bots do I like them if I had the choice to get rid of them or keep them it would definitely be get rid of them and before I said that I'd obviously buy as many supplies as I could and make a bit of money off that really but although merching never really goes well for me never I am pretty bad at merching flipping whatever you want to call it I never really make money off it did he fall again Please fall again, please. Yes! He fell again! This is a beast of a video. Oh, God, I hope he's not watching this. I actually hope he isn't, really, but... Oh, if he is, I hope he's laughing along to it. Hi there, if he is, that is, anyway. But, yeah, um... What did I say? Yeah, I am horrible at merchants him. Honestly, I am the world's worst merchant. I was good before the G, really. If you want an old-school memory of me, how did I make money back in the day? I earned my first 10 mil cash pile by buying unid herbs, identifying all the ones that were, like, back, back, if you, if you probably can remember this one, it wasn't that, eight years ago, maybe, okay, maybe not, like, way less than that, but, when you got a herb drop, it used to just say herb, and you'd have to identify it to know the herb, and if you couldn't identify it, it said you would need a higher herb level to identify this, I can't remember if we said the herb level needed, but you wouldn't know the herb unless you identified it, really, so, what I did is, if you put the herbs in your bank, they would go into different stacks, really, and I'd take out one of each stack, remembering the stack obviously and I'd identify them all and obviously I didn't have like the herbal to do them all and I could identify all up to like 
what, whatever came after Raynar, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Toadflax at the time, I think it was Irrit or something. I'd identify all of those, and then I would get rid of the non, non um, under Raynars really, and I would buy all the unidy hairs for 1k each, and I would sell the Raynar plus ones for 1.5k each, or I'd get them identified by my home slice Atlantic 9. But um, that is how I made money, and I was making maybe... <laughs> it seems pretty stupid now, but I was probably making about 350k a day, maybe, playing quite a while. But it was that and Zami Pages, which I made money off. Zami Pages, I'd buy them for 100 to 120k each. And this was, remembering correctly, west of... No, I need to try and remember the map quickly. Um, It was east of the Falador East Bank, and it was north of the I, the Herb section. That is remembered completely correctly. That was the Treasure Trail section. And I bought Zami Pages for 100 to 120k each, and I sold them for like 180 to 200k each, and that made me some big money, really. But I also made money PK because the Dark Bows at the time were 3 mil each, and my account at the time, around that time, was like 50 attack, 80 strength, 1 defense, and all that. And I could 3 hit people for Dark Bows a lot. And I remember the day I PK 2 Dark Bows in a day, and that was 6 mil there, and that got me to my. First ever, t well, not my like second 10 mil cash pound. I was so happy about it, and then I got hacked later on. Like back in the those days, I used to share my accounts all the time. Really, there was this one guy who I shared like all my accounts with, no problem. I'm not really, I am in contact with him still actually, but we don't talk anywhere near as much. But if you want uh, to know who he is, if you do play near reality, what the hell is those gloves? I don't like fish gloves or something, but if you do know, if you do play in the reality, then the guy's name is On a Boat with a Zero. People do say that that is me all the time. On a Boat with a Zero is not me. I was an account called I Love Boaty at the time, and then I made a second account called On A Boat, but this one had two spaces between like at and boat really, and he's simply just on a boat, one space between each thing, so you should know who he is. He's pretty much the richest player in the game for like five clients running simply from staking, but yeah, that is the guy who, um, I don't know if he still plays in the reality, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I've known him since 03 maybe, 04. Probably coming up to eight, nine years or something. We've pretty much, I've said it before, but we've ran Barrack Wilderness, really. Me, him, my brother, two other friends, really. Still in contact. Actually, one of them plays League of Legends with my brother still, so that's kind of still in contact, really. But, yeah, we were like level 56 pures, and if we were in Barrack, we ran it, really. No one was just, no one could touch us, really. I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but it was true. <laughs> we ruled it. And then, obviously, we'd get, like, one item that's coming, like, with a crystal. I remember that. I actually can still remember that memory. Back in 04, 05, a guy with a crystal bow or something, one item in, and I kept trying to spec him out to get it, and then I realised that if it's degraded, it would just appear on the floor, really. You can just run back and get it, so that was a waste of time, really. So, yeah, but that's who I know in this game the longest, and a good question that people could put to me is, who is my best friend in RuneScape right now? And I think Nathan plays again, so yeah, it's probably back to Nathan, but before, when Nathan quit to play League of Legends, it was probably Tesco K, really, but... I do talk to fair people a lot. I mean, there's some people on my friends list who I pretty much barely talk to, really. So, I mean, I will have to go through my um, friends list sometime soon. And I may, I'm going to do it now, but I'll make a video like saying if you're on my friends list and you are active and still talk to me, please PM me or I'm going to delete everyone off my friends list, really. Because I do want to try and delete my friends list as much as I can. I remember my friends list was about 20 people long, really. Just, yeah, really. But, yeah, I talk to some people quite a lot. There's some people I, like, don't talk to at all, really. Just... It just happens, really. And then there's some I talk to every day, really. But some things... Another thing to know about me is I don't really start conversations that often with my friends list. Like, not to use, like, my whole, like, 20,000 subscribers to be more superior than them. I don't want that at all here. But overall, I just tend to get on with what I'm doing. And if someone PMs me, then conversation starts. I'll, I will happily continue a conversation. I'm never going to say no to a conversation unless I'm having, like, 10 at once and it'll get pretty difficult. But... Overall, I don't really start conversations, so if you are on my friends list and you ever want to like, talk about something, yeah, just hit me up at PM, really, and I will reply to you, unless I'm PKing, really. Like. Another thing you could know about me is, whenever I'm talking in game, I I I hate, I just suddenly hate typing, I reply because I do so much commentary, I'm always talking in real life. Like Someone will ask me a question, say, like, what's your dungeon level? Like, Say I'm live stream, I'll say, my dungeon level is 120, then I realise, okay, he's probably not watching the live stream, and if I ignore him, I just look like a... A, a, everyone, you know the word really when a YouTuber, because he has a load of subscribers doesn't reply to people because he's just like yep, don't know who you are, don't care about you I don't want to sound like that at all, I never really want to and if you've been subscribed to me for ages you should know that I still do talk to people here but yeah, I mean, I do reply to people, please fall, please fall, please fall. I just want this guy to fall again, it's so funny I don't know why, but yeah, uh, go back to what I was saying before I get sidetracked, I said that fast um, what is it? 
Um, oh, my blackmail pl playlist just ended, really. That sucks. Let's rewind all the songs and go back to the start. Oh, I should have said that. Nope. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. Back to the start. No problem. This video is long. This is like an hour and a half long video now. No problem. I wonder what your reactions have been to this video. Like, seriously, now. Unfortunately, I've asked for likes on like the last three videos, so I'm not going to ask for any on this one. I'm just going to say them like, Yo, like this video because it's so long. But no, I'm not going to do it. I do say a lot that I don't ask for likes, but I don't want to go into this as usual, I always seem to do it, but yeah, I do do it every now and then, but I don't do it as often as some people, three times a month or something I do it, so I do it sometimes really, but yeah, you can understand where I'm coming from here, but yeah, this video is freaking long, and if I was going back to what I was talking about then, which I forgot really, what was I talking about then? I can't remember, I'm sure it's something to do with merchant techniques, yeah, it was merchanting, but yeah, I was never a good merchant. Well, I was back then, but then the GE came, and then it was just like, people saying merchant got easy and all that. But yeah, I was never good at it. I don't think I'll ever come merchant in anymore. I mean, merchant, probably some of the best money in the game overall. But back when smoking mills and all this existed, I made quite a bit of those as well. I'd always dump early. I'll tell you that now. I mean, those CCs were the biggest scam ever. The people would buy the item out in advance for cheap, tell everyone to buy out. The item would, like, triple in price. The guys would sell it when it doubled in price, and then they'd say dump it when it tripled in price. And then because thousands of people were dumping a million items at once, yeah, your items were never going to sell, mate. You just got completely scammed. But unfortunately, one of the merchants they did, I would have made 90 mil profit on it, but I was offline for two days and came back and they dumped it like, I think they dumped it when it only had like a 40% rise on it, but... And unfortunately, I lost something like 30 mil on that one instead of making a 90 mil profit. And 90 mil then was probably like, I think it was trip no just about what's in between a half and no what's in between double and triple okay a half and a double no what's in between double and triple sorry right i like almost double and a half my bank really if you know what i mean like 2.5x to my bank or something like that that's what would have happened with that nightmare but unfortunately yeah it didn't go well but yeah another small memory to have with me um i soloed a zami hilt sorry hilt sorry on my seventh ever commander zeliana solo and that was 46 million time, and that was a nice double to my bank there, really, so. I don't really know. Is this game more fun to play without money? I mean, back, probably if I if Peking was as fun as it used to be, really, I'd probably say that I wouldn't care how much money I had in this game. But now that I've become, like, a skiller, and I, like, buy goals and stuff, I would definitely prefer having money on this game in the current situation it's in, really. Because Peking is kind of horrible at the moment, but... Pretty much back in 06, I was peaking with like, I'd get hacked like a day and I'd be back with a 200k bank and I'd peak it out to like 10 mil. It's just, it's so much more fun to, that's why I love these from scratch series I do. It's really fun to have no money, like if I wanted to do a fight kill and I could buy gear and do it, but to do a fight kill from scratch is a lot more fun, but unfortunately, I believe this will be my last from scratch series like ever. I mean, it's a great one to go out with, obviously. I mean, I had my PK series from scratch. If you haven't actually watched that, I think it's like a, how long ago was that series made? I think I was doing that when I made this new channel, which is back in, honestly, half a year ago, maybe? I think it's just a bit longer than that, really, but, yeah, I mean, if you haven't seen my PK series from scratch, feel free to watch it, because people absolutely love that series, and I love, I really do love making the from scratch things. It really, the main reason why it's so good is because it just makes you feel like a noob again, not really like a noob again, but just like, not professional at the game. You can't just buy everything you want. You need to go out there and earn it solidly. And I'd say, tell you now, if I wanted to, I could get a Tokakal from scratch in about four days if I just did it solid. But that's not really the point. It's just the fun of like earning everything, having to run around the game now. But I'm currently on day six, day seven actually, if I start live streaming today. I finished day six yesterday of my Tokakal from scratch. And. I have used two Teletabs in the whole thing. I walk from place to place. It's so fun. And I turned Lodestones off, obviously, because that's more fun. Like, people say, why did I turn Lodestones off? Uh, the reason I turned... Sorry. The reason I turned Lodestones off was because they can get me anywhere in the game, really. So, it'd be more fun walking to places. Yeah, it's a lot more time-consuming, but it makes the video so much... Why does this guy have a pack yak here? Can I ask? What? Why would you even need a pack yak here? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter, really, but, yeah, let's uh, keep on going, but what was I talking about? Yeah, From Scratch, blah, 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 Um, For those that, like, when you see a From Scratch series, you probably, like, insta-dislike it because you're, like, saying you're a Rune Shark wannabe or all that. I will admit right now, From Scratch is probably one of the greatest series, RuneScape related, to actually be created, in my opinion, and that is exactly why I do it. Now, I'm not trying to claim at all that I created them. Everyone knows Rune Shark created it. Now, to do it myself, if you want to call it a wannabe of Rune Shark, that is fine. I will admit that right now. If Runeshot never made the video idea, I wouldn't be doing it. Simple as that, and no one would be doing it. Unless someone suddenly, someone else came up with it, really. I mean, 
I don't really know. I don't want to suddenly turn it all negative near the end of this video, but yeah, the reason I love doing them is because another reason why I did a From Scratch series is because my subscribers actually voted for the first one. So I believe that the majority of my subscribers don't really mind that I was doing a From Scratch series, but definitely one of my favourite series to do in the game. No doubt about it. I really do enjoy it. So yeah, that's about it. That about concludes this video. Um, this is the longest video I've ever made and probably one of the longest RuneScape videos I think I've ever seen. I don't know if anyone talks for this long. Seriously, wow, this is a long video. But yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I know there were some topics in here that I'm sure you didn't really care about, but I would say comment this if you um, watched the whole video. But People skip to the end to try and make it look like they watched it, so let's just say what the the insult I was using for the majority of people during this video. If you know what it was, don't comment it. Comment what you would... F Ooh, you know what I mean here. The insult that I used, what do you find? In, what do people look for inside that insult? That is the thing to comment. And try and like code it so people can't see the same comment over and over again, really. So then they could just copy it and be like, yep, I watched the whole thing. But yeah, if you've left uh, 10 comments to this video because you actually decided to, then seriously, I will admit now, I'm not a huge fan of um, leaving loads of comments to videos. I prefer to just leave one, but sometimes I just think leaving more comments is better. But yeah, if you've left two to like 10 or so comments in this video to like everything I asked for, really, then yeah, uh, thumbs up to you there, mate. Uh, thank you for that. Thank you for the feedback, seriously, so much to all of you, really. I'm not going to say there's one of you doing it, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. Video. I think I trained around 300k agility XP in total on this video because I'm almost about to get 89. So, yeah, this is a ridiculously long. And I really don't know if this is the longest RuneScape video ever made. I'm pretty sure someone's going to have a longer one. No doubt about it. Someone will have one, really. But potentially the longest solo commentary video ever made? I do not know. But yeah, this is about 1 hour and 40 minutes long or something like that. So, yep, yeah, and I'm not out of energy at all. So, yep, yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed this one, guys. And I will see you all soon. I know you're all going to be upset because the video is about to end. No. But yeah, make sure you check how much experience you chain, chain, chained, trained, guys. But something I'm going to quickly throw on the end. People always ask, how can they get added to my friends list? I know this video is going to drag on for another five minutes now that I've said this, but I'm sure most of you do want to hear this. Overall, the majority of people I add to my friends list these days are people that help me out in specific things. Now, I'm not going to say something like, let's go to running, like, Rune, Rune Essence when I was doing my uh, nature runs. I do appreciate that, but then people come purposely to try and get added, not to help me out. But overall, people, um, if I say how to get added on my friends list, I normally add people who are around my level, who I PK with or against most of the time. So if you're around my level, you've got a higher chance. Mainly if you're a hybrid or something, I do add hybrids more often. But also, uh, a very, very good way to get on my friends list is uh, also a way to earn a rank in my friends chat. If I see you in my friends chat helping people out, being mature really, like, not in like troll wars often really, then I might just insta rank you up to captain straight away. I've done that before. There was a guy I did insta rank to captain. I believe it was barbecue actually. I don't think I've seen him in my friends chat in like the last year. I think he got hacked and quit or something. But I believe I insta ranked him to captain just because he was helping everyone out really. Now, I don't want to join my friends chat now and just see someone ask a question and 20 people reply a good answer to him really because that would just be hard to deal with really. My friends chat's probably going to pack out now that I've said this with people trying really. But remember, I do have a 200 point limit. And I won't add you if I think you're going to be a bit of a peasant to me and completely stalk me really. Like, something I will does annoy me on some level is if you are just going to... I don't actually know really. Overall, yeah, it doesn't really matter overall. But yeah, if you want to like try and earn a rank in my friends chat, then overall you have to be active in there and just help out really and not be in troll wars really. So that's about the whole thing. And obviously if you get a rank in my friends chat, you're added onto my friends list recently. To give you a tip though, just to save me some brain cells really, if you're going to come to me and say, can you add me, I won't add you simply because I can't. Maybe if we're scaling for a couple of hours, like something, maybe if we're doing mining and we're talking for a couple of hours, I'll probably add you then simply because if I think you're a nice guy or anything, but seriously, don't be some slimy peasant to me, and I don't want to say I'll be a slimy peasant back, but um, yeah, overall you can understand that uh, to get added on my friends list, simply just be a someone who I, really if I add you, I gonna have to say that I believe you're a fairly like a chill guy someone enjoyable to talk to something like that really and I'll probably add you but I don't want to make this a competition to get onto my friends list really don't go out of your way don't not like something different to try and get on my friends list really because then I probably won't add you and please don't go out of your way to try and get added onto my friends list and then rage at me because I don't add you that would be the worst situation ever yeah but there you go guys thank you for watching and I will see you all soon peace